let's be no. like, Hello everyone and welcome to the Art of War Streamhouse RTT round four. This is still round one, but it's the fourth game of the RTT. Mm -hmm. I am here, I am ready, I am here to go 2-0, and oh, both armies in the semifinals with the Drukhari. John, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I felt a lot better before I knew I was standing right next to a liar. Nick is going down. The Drukhari are going nowhere. Dark Angels are going to the semifinals. No way around it. It's just not happening, but I love the La La Land that you live in. Mm. Oh, man, I am so ready for this. I got the nice pro-painted army here from Golden Globe Gaming. We got the Raiders. We got the Slith and Urgle Party. We are ready to roll. We're playing mission number 32, priority targets. Mm -hmm. Or Sorry, sweep and clear. Uh, it's the five objective one where you just get an auto 15 points for taking the mission specific secondary. Very lovely against the Dark Angels here. Big fan of that. Absolutely. This is priority target. I am bringing my Dark Angels army. I am ready to go. The fact that Nick had to have someone else paint his models means nothing to me. I painted my own army and they're going to be more loyal to me. So the dice. We're taking down the Dark Drukari today. Are Dark Angels even loyalists? Isn't that like a thing? They're very loyal. Uh huh. Loyal to nothing. Ooh. All right. Old words. Before we talk about that, though, we have some very exciting stuff to talk we about. We have a Gleam campaign going on. Absolutely. In this Gleam campaign, we got all of our sponsors. They come in and they gave us a bunch of free stuff. Over $3,000 worth of free stuff. You can get Big Bear terrain tables. You can get table war mats. You can get access to the warm exclusive coaching with me, John Siegs, and Chester, and so many more. All this good stuff and much, much more over on the link below, right here in this YouTube video. You click that. Share that around with everyone. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with your pets it's super easy to enter all you have to do is click that link and then just go start liking us and our sponsors on social media share follow all those wonderful buzzwords the more you do the more free entries you get put into this raffle system mm -hmm. and then at the end of this tournament on Sunday we're just gonna stick our big old hand in the raffle system and then draw some winners and send you free stuff it's free to enter and you just get stuff mailed to your doorstep I don't know how else to say it just go do that it is fan Fantastic. Really can't beat that. Free Warhammer, who doesn't love it? Free Warhammer, best Warhammer. Absolutely. Let's not forget, though, the, the coolest thing about the stream house, the tie. Wow. The, the tie is symbolic of our new merch line that's coming out mm -hmm. ASAP, very soon. Right now, we are we are been busy little beavers getting shirts, getting sweatshirts, getting hoodies, getting neck gaiters for COVID, getting objective mats for sale with Art of War logos on them, exclusive objective mats with a golden samurai or my face with the sister's wig on it. Whatever you want, we got it. Mouse pads, we got let's get tropical going on, all kinds of good stuff. Mugs, you want to drink from me, you can drink from me. All going on sale on Sunday during the finals of the RTT. So if you want an exclusive promo discount code, to watch the finals of the RTT. That's Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. You'll get exclusive discount codes live only for 24 hours. So don't miss it. And only for those who are watching us uh, either live or like in that 24 hour period. Mm -hmm. And you just get to get free stuff. There's limited edition stuff. So if, if you don't buy it now, you're, it's never getting made again. So get on board and get that merch. More information to follow. Stay tuned. All right, all right. I think I think that does it for our. Well, spiels. I think we should still talk about our normal sponsors, right? Of course, of, of course. course, our normal sponsors. Let's start off. We were already talking about the merch. Let's keep going with Warpfire Minis. Warpfire Minis is a gaming store in Ocala, Florida. They're fantastic. They have an absolutely wonderful array of stock. Almost everything you can get on the GW website, you can get through Warpfire Minis, and they have 15% off, and they have really fast shipping. And we haven't even talked about the Minis discount program. You can trade in your old, beat up, crappy, poorly painted models. Nick has a lot of them. Well, he used to. He used to. He got rid of them and he sent them to Warp Fire Minis. You can get up to 50% of something's retail value back in store credit. You can send in a bunch of stuff. I sent in some Space Marines that I may have painted in high school, not particularly well. And I got store credit, used it to buy some of the new plastic miniatures that I'm using today. Very exciting. Gotta love the warp fire. We also have these wonderful mats that we play on. Mm -hmm. Table War provides beautiful custom neoprene mats. You can spill on them. You could roll them up. You can transport them. Nothing bad happens. <clears throat> these things are indestructible. When the world goes to poop, these will survive. These are wonderful mats. They come in all kinds of different colors, shapes, and sizes. They got the grassy plains over here. We got the Mars board that Seas loves. We got desert. We got city fight. All kinds of stuff. They come in the 6x4 standard that used to be for 40k, and now they all also come in the 5x44 for, for these new kids on the block. 
Absolutely. If you happen to get some of those old 6x4s, maybe you bought it for your Age of Sigmar games, you can get a battle border from 3D6 Wargaming and put it right over the top. The battle border that we have here is designed to go down over a 6x4 surface and it's going to leave you 60 by 44 inches. Perfect amount to play 9th edition 40k. You can get anything you want printed on these 3D6 uh, stuff. You can get logos, you can get sponsors, you can get puppies, you can get Nick's face with a wig if you really wanted to. They also make the absolutely fantastic objective mats that we use here. These discs are designed to be a 40 millimeter objective with a three inch radius around it. So you always know when you're in range to hold an objective. If you haven't played on these, once you do, you're never going back. Trust me on this one. Someone else brought them to a tournament once. I used them and I'm like, I need these. Oh I need these in my life. They've, I need my own. They are, they are fantastic. Absolutely. And what's the point of having a beautiful mat mm -hmm. and a beautiful battle border if you don't have beautiful terrain to go with it? Go to Big Bear 3D, get 3D printed terrain that's aesthetically pleasing, super easy to build and paint yourself if you want to make your own hobby project, or you can get it professionally painted by their painter and just get it to look exactly like our stuff. These tables are designed by us, the pros, mm -hmm. to replicate tournament formats. There's a Nova Open table, an LVO table, a Pro Tabletop, so there's so many different tables. You can customize them, you can order whatever you want and get the terrain that the pros play on shipped right to your doorstep. Absolutely. Let's also talk about Obey Alliance. Obey Alliance is a major esports company that is helping sponsor us to do a viability check on Warhammer 40K. You all know that Warhammer is fantastic. We know Warhammer is fantastic. We are just trying to show Obey Alliance that this is something viable that they should continue to invest in and they should help promote to make 40K into an eSport. It's just great. All you need to do is share, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff just to help us show Obey Alliance this is a viable eSport. This is a fantastic game with a fantastic community and it is worth investing in. And before we forget our latest and newest sponsor, we got Golden Globe Gaming, who's painted this beautiful Drukari Army for us. Unfortunately, not all of it's here, but it will be here for our tournament upcoming in Dallas Open. But right now we got our Raiders and our Slits and our Urgles, and the party bus is here to run over John Lennon. That's not gonna happen. Uh -huh. I am immune to tank shock. Uh -huh. You're not running anything over. You don't even have wheels. Hoverboat tries to bring me over. I just like look up. I, I can guess wheels. Wheels. I don't need no wheels All to right. get back to Comrade. You ready for this one, Nick? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's switch to that overhead and talk about our deployment. So it is priority target. So it's this kind of Vanguard diagonal <coughs> style through them thing. There's five objectives, which we then took turns moving four of them. So that's why they're not kind of asymmetrical. Over here, I deployed pretty conservatively. Uh, these guys on foot represent just who's in the transports. They're not actually on the table or off the table. But we got three raiders. This one's got witches and incubi and the uh, combat archon. This one's got flamer racks and the incubi. And this one's got another five witches, five incubi, and the super succubus who never stops rolling attacks. Then we got uh, two units of five mandrakes. They just infiltrated behind this cargo container to try to get some uh, play on the objective there. And then back here in the homeland, we've got another three raiders, boom, 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 really trying to press this angle here. Uh, they got, the back one has just five warriors in it, the middle one there has uh, 10 witches and another combat archon, and the front one is my rack with fire raider with two units of five racks. Drazar leading the charge from behind a building, as one does, and the ever famous, the infamous, the Slith and Urgle Fiesta. Four Sliths, four Urgles, each two quarts of the archon. All right, John, what you got for me? All right, so over here, let's talk about my Dark Angels deployment. I've got in my table quarter, I've got two attack bike squads. We've got two multi multis and a heavy bolter in each one of them. Then up here, I've got a 10-man Relic Terminator squad. These Terminators are carrying Storm Bolters, Reaper Auto Cannons, even a Grenade Launcher Harness to make sure that I've got the maximum number of shots going into the enemy. Then I've got a bunch of characters wedged behind here. I've got an Apothecary. I've got Asriel. This Contemptor Dreadnought's not a character, but I'm pointing at him anyway. One, two, three Talon Masters. We are ready to shoot people away. As well, Ezekiel and a Blade Guard Ancient are sitting on top of this building. And there is a two-man Terminator Command Squad inside protecting all those characters. Finally, I do have five Infiltrators right here, just holding down this objective, ready to fight whoever Nick dares send my way. All right, Mr. Charles. Let's, uh, let's you ready roll. for this? All right. You ready for this? Do you Thanks. want the big dice to be big numbers? I want the big dice to be, to be exactly what they want to be. It doesn't matter if I go first or second. All right. But I guess I'm going second. Nick is going second. The Dark Angels are going first. I hope you're ready for this one, Nick. Good luck, Mr. One. Good luck. So right. in my command phase, I will go ahead and gain a command point. I'm going up to eight. 
I want to get some momentum fast here. Okay. <laughs> so I've already pre-measured to make sure that I can get some shots off into these various raiders. I just want to make sure that I don't get hit back too hard if they decide to push on me. So I could spend two command points on a pregame move here, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Those raven wing strats. Those raven wing strats. We're going to start off by just advancing the Terminator unit in the center. They're not shooting turn one. I'm not planning <laughs> on that happening, and Nick didn't give me many targets there. So we'll just go ahead and give him a nice advance. We'll go 10 inches, but it's going to end up being eight if I walk through this forest, which is going to leave me just a little bit short, I think, of that center objective. Mm -hmm. um, and that's OK with me. We're just pushing a little bit forward, over like so. Oh, and I will, of course, give them a minus one damage with my, uh, my pennant. And Asriel is going to go ahead and give this Contemptor Dreadnought the Chapter Master buff. Ooh, Contemptor Dreadnought's coming out to play today. Absolutely. I am going to get started. I am not waiting for Nick. I'm going to get the Eldar killing action going right away. He's got Eldar killing action? The, I, I do. There are, there are no. guns in this list, my I friend. I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. It's like Kung Fu's Eldar killing um, I don't even know if I actually want to move this far forward. Honestly, it's not that Nick's going to hit me turn one. I just want to be in a maybe a little bit better position so that uh, on turn two, uh, I've got more shooting angles. Hmm. Just something to think about here. There is a lot going on in Nick's army. You do have to respect the amount of damage output you it can put out. I don't want to run headfirst into the teeth here. Come into my castle. Just, just come join me in the party teeth bus. The teeth of the Slith. I think I am OK pushing forward here. Well. And I'll just make sure that if I move three inches next turn, I will be uh, on the objective. And also, I, I could potentially just move out of the force as well, depending on what needs to happen here. Nothing needs to happen. Uh, some things will happen. Some things are going to happen here. He thinks things are going to happen. I do. I know things are going to happen. He knows things are going to happen. All right, so I've already pre-measured a wonderful point where I can shoot at this raider. Yeah. And with my 24-inch guns, I just need every attack bike right there. Luckily, they move an extra three inches during my first turn because I'm in Devastator Doctrine and they are Ravenwing. So just, 17 inches is definitely going to be enough there. Raiders are so hard to hide. Like, you think they'd be easy to hide, but they're just like, we got random spikes and sails and all kinds of weird shapes. Spikes and sails and random shapes. That's what I like. So he can't really advance and charge turn one, which is extremely convenient. That's what you think. Slits can. That's true, but we are very far away from those slits. I'm just going to put one scared. bike right here to make sure that I am getting that objective for my domination point. Mm. And we're going to kind of force Nick to come at me here. Mm -hmm. Very annoying. Like, incredibly annoying. That is uh, part of the plan. Now, it, it, can they all see that raider there? From this angle here, it should mm -hmm. just have the, the front wheel of that guy. OK, well, they don't have wheels. Oh, your wheels. I, I, yeah, my, my wheels. Your wheel is shooting a multi melt I got it. <laughs> my <laughs> wheel is shooting the multi melt obviously. That's how 40K works. Yeah. This, this is exactly how 40K works. <laughs> so that right there will put everyone in a very fun spot. Now, I do have to watch out for how close those, uh, those incubi may want to come. So I'm probably going to end up advancing a Talon Master. Actually, that's not even an advance. That's just a Talon Master. Boop. Yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Right here, so that if these incubi even think about disembarking closer to me, they will pay for it with their lives. And if they get out behind that ruin, they are going to be a very healthy charge. That looks like that's going to be a 10 inch charge if they try to step behind that ruin, hide from the wrath of my Talon Master. I'm and uh, I'm all no about Talon that. Masters. Ooh, you will be. I'm scared of no masters. All right, this uh, Ravening Apothecary is just going to step up here behind this uh, Terminator squad. Mm -hmm. And then we'll move uh, Asriel's Watcher out of the way because he's not real. This Contemptor Dreadnought, though, is going to step nine inches to the side so that it can draw an angle down into this that back. lonely little raider Ooh. right there. Again, I pre-measured exactly where I could try to shoot at Nick's raiders, and I am lining up my shots, calling my shots even. Calling them? Calling my shots. What are in these raiders that well, this one that's probably going to get multi melt attack bike off the planet has got five witches, five incubi, and the super succubus. Mm -hmm. And the one back there, which is probably <clears throat> going to get dreadnoughted, uh, that's just five warriors. That one I don't care as much about. That's like the extra boat. The extra boat? Mm -hmm. Just an extra boat. Just an extra boat. Okay. And then I think this infiltrator squad feels pretty happy where they're at. They do not feel the need to apply pressure. This Talon Master is just going to. Pop off here behind this Terminator squad so that it's nice and covered. 
Just make sure that I've got my coherency covered. Yep, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> yep, just making sure I've got all my friends hanging out with each other. This command squad is pushing up a little bit. No problems there. Hey guys, not to cut you off. I mm -hmm. know you're doing your movement right now, but we do have a $5 super chat from Kurt Williams. Congratulations on the new army, Nick. Too bad you're not coming to DACACon. At least John's representing. Absolutely, oh. I'm representing, no problem. So right. many events. It's a little time. A little time. We're just time. moving these characters a little bit forward. Don't need anything crazy here. Just want to be in a decent position for next turn. Now, these, this last Talmaster is really my question. I could try to zoom it around just to get some better angles, and I think we'll do that. He's going to just advance. Uh, so he's going to go 21 plus that, so 23 inches. 23 inches. Yep. Very fast, you say. Just going to make sure that it is still within three inches of these two attack bikes. Beautiful, beautiful. So it's not going to be easy for Nick to try to shoot at my lovely creations. Oh, I'll kill the creations. I don't believe it. Don't believe that for a second. All right, so uh, in that case, uh, Asriel's just going to walk up into this little center right there. Mm -hmm. And I think we are all good to go. Ready for the shoe sting? Are you ready for the shoe sting? Um, I'm born ready for the shoe sting. All right, well, we're going to start off with this Contemptor Dreadnought putting every single shot downfield into that raider right there. Are there yeah. any stratagems that you're particularly interested in? No, this raider, this raider doesn't matter to me. All right, well, I'm just trying to reduce the number of raiders Nick has, get my thin to rank points. Let's get this started. Here we go, hitting on threes, re-rolling everything. Yeah. Everything, I'd say. Not great. No explosions, but hopefully re-rolling those twos with Chapter Master is going to pay off there. Good 15 hits. Yeah, I don't think Lightning Fast would have made a difference here. Wounded on fours, and we are re-rolling ones. Yeah, Lightning Fast is not making the difference. That's not what I'm seeing. Oh, I maybe. wish this guy could have shot more raiders. It'd be four mortals, four mortals and a bucket of five up saves. Give me a raider. Bucket of fives. No, look good, at, effort, good effort. But uh, uh, actually, I could CP this. And then you would take four mortals and six damage. Is that okay? Oh yeah, there's four mortals. I forgot. Yep. <laughs> so I will. Uh, Does it explode? No. Ah, uh, would have been nice. Five warriors inside. You know what? I'm just trying to get started. One warrior inside. <laughs> All right. Four ones. Are you sure that wasn't the Inquisitor? Uh, I'm, I'm sure. This those is, were the Cabalites? Those were the Cabalites. Well, he owes me a morale check you when know, we're done here. He can he can do that. He will uh, he'll just meander. No kidding. Get that warrior, buddy. Poor raider. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to start off then with this attack bike squad, putting every shot into that raider. So let me let me look here. If this one's shooting now, then the other one can shoot in a second. Mm -hmm. And that's looks like he might be trying to get some angles on me. <laughs> would I uh, ever? I would like to make this take both attack bike squads. Yep. Uh, but I think it's a foregone conclusion. So I'm just going to... You can you can just... Letting it happen? Letting it happen. All right, well, here's four multi Malthus. Yep. <laughs> That is two, two hits. Two hits. Wounded on threes, but I'm re-rolling ones from that Talon Master. There's two invulns. Two invulns. Let me get some fives for the Jukari. One five. There's one. Let's see that damage. There's three. Just three. Seven That's left. I like seven. Fine with me. We've got 12 bolter shots. Mm -hmm. Let's actually do that heavy bolter first. Sure. Hitting on threes. Nice hits. Wounded on fives. Not re rolling nice the ones. Oh, no. One. One five up. Is it going to one five? Good. Good fives for Nick so far. I'm okay with this. Mm -hmm. But now we're wounded on fives. That's okay. I get four up saves from this. Oh, you can't even kill me. Four wounds. Four wounds. Five. Four wounds. Four wounds. wounds. Told you. All right. Takes three, though. Down to four. That's okay. We're going to just put this entire next attack bike squad into it. Uh, I just want to guarantee the kill here. Because if I do the Talmaster first, I might not kill it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it, it's not unlikely. I really should kill it. But um, I just want to make sure that Nick does not try to put models any closer to me oh, than they are right now. I would totally go for that emergency if I could. Exactly. Because right now, I th actually, I could shoot the Talmaster first. He's got four wounds. Four wounds. Ooh. No, no. We're going to just... Stick to the plan? Stick to the plan. Attack bikes first. I like what I'm seeing. Attack bikes be dying. All right. So here we go. These are the bolters. Uh -huh. And that is... Not too bad. Eight hits. Five three rolling ones. Just three. Three. All right, we can live. We are down to three, two, two wounds. wounds. All right, wounds. there's a heavy bolter mm -hmm. with your name on it. Got no one's Ooh. name on it. That's a save. 
No, multi and melt is right there. Did. No problem. Does it explode? Give does me it explode. a sweet, sweet no, six. No, thank you. No, it does not explode. Now, do All I right. want to emergency? Let's see. This Talonmaster, 27 <laughs> inches on this thing? 24. 24, okay. So, well, 36 on the heavy bolters, well, 24 yeah. on the assault cannons. So... But of course, potentially both of them could shoot the heavy bolters. Right, right. So if I go on this angle and get into the ruin... You, know, you are being seen. I'll be, I'll be getting shot. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be shot. I would like you to be shot, Nick. Come on. Uh, I think I can get enough <clears throat> models out where I don't have to emergency. So I can... Uh, I'm just going to roll 11 dice. All right. It saves myself. Well, uh... Do you have to deploy them before? Well, okay, doesn't matter. Uh, well, no. <laughs> All right. Why would you deploy them before? Is that actually that's how it works? Rules. That makes no sense. I just tell you the rules. Okay. <laughs> that's um, okay. All right. So we've got five incubi. What else is in this squad? Five incubi. Now four witches and a succubus. I've got a feeling someone is getting seen here. I don't think so. Well, I'll try. All right, Incubi are going to go back here because I definitely care more about them not being shot in the face. Oh, those Incubi are totally getting shot. No problem. The sales. Sales always be giving me trouble. Yep. One, two, three, four, and five. Ooh, this is not great. Might have to give up some shooting. No, you can go right here. This rack doesn't exist. Is that wholly within three inches of the Raider, though? Yes. That's not even close. I got an inch to spare. Okay. Um, and now four witches right here. Oop. All right, four witches. Oop. Four witches. Oh, we're gonna shoot these witches. Four witches, maybe, maybe not. I don't tolerate witches. I think I could get four witches through here. Not Oop. It's getting close. It's getting close. I think that one dying might have saved me. And then the succubus can be in the open because she just can't be shot. Yeah, absolutely. As long as she's within three of a friend, that's she'll, not a problem. She'll be within three of this raider, so that'll keep her safe for the entire All right. turn. All right, raider's out. I think we did it. Um, I can definitely see an incubi. If you want to change no. things, now would be the. Is this one? Put him right there. Yep. Okay. Just checking that angle to see. Mm hmm. That I can, I can just see. Okay. Well, then I couldn't do it. Well, is there any? Could you put it where the witches, and then like have a witch get shot? Um, I'm assuming you would rather lose the witches than the incubi. I mean, I don't think so, because the witches are the four man, so you can just shoot the incubi. Right. I suppose. You want to just put the incubi there? Is I'm, it, I'm just, does I that just, work? Yeah, I think the witch has to stick out because she needs to be in the oh, witch spot. So like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. So, Thanks. so I can shoot the witch then. You can shoot the witch. Right. Well, the, the that witch is getting shot. Well, she's Unless, gonna survive. Yeah, you're just out of 24, so it's just a heavy bolter here. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Uh, we're hitting on twos because I did not advance with this one. Um, but you know what? We're gonna take our shots. Taking the shots. And that will be six hits. Ooh. These are AP two. That is, ooh, only three, but only. these are six up invulns. Witches don't care. Witches ooh, don't care. Two witches died. Two witches died. did care. Well, but two witches didn't. So okay, but be, yes, that's true. That's true. Two didn't, but two did. That's what matters to me. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of my shooting. Uh, don't feel bad about that. Two raiders down makes me feel pretty good about my odds of not just losing pieces, because this turn it's going to be hard for Nick to just advance and charge me. I tried to make those very long charges. I made sure to pre-measure from this exact spot where he was putting the witches. Make sure that that was a nice long charge. You can try it if you want, but uh, it's going to be lengthy, and failure will be painful. Two raiders down definitely hurts. Yep. But we'll see what we can do with could that. Could you take some morale checks for me? I We've could. We've got a witch squad and a, a cavalry. Here's the first. two witches. They don't care. And here's the solo warrior who doesn't care doesn't either. Doesn't care either. All right. Beautiful. All right. They're used to uh, the pain. Let's see, the, they they pain. Let's see how powerful they are. Let's see how powerful they are. All right, John. Talk I'm to going to get... Oh. Three points on priority target, mm -hmm. three points on domination, mm -hmm. and two points on thin the ranks. Yeah, what ifs. Okay. All right, so we're going to go up to 10 command points. Yep. And now talk to me about these attack bikes. If I engage them, do they... Uh, well, they have, they have, have shock assault, two point. attacks each, and I could potentially have both of them fall back and shoot. Do they both can fall back both and shoot. Both can fall back two and different shoot. Strats? I have two different strats. One is a generic space marine stratagem, and the other one is um, a Dark Angel specific stratum. So it would be a, a CP investment, but I didn't spend any command points that turn actually, so I, I would not feel bad about it. Right. And I also made sure that the way I was wedging them, it's gonna be very difficult for Nick to actually try to wrap me. Don't think I'm just trying to get a wraps. good primary advantage here. If he just wants to send them into me, I don't mind at all. I don't think I'm going for the wraps. I think I'm going for some shooting here. Mm -hmm. And just seeing if I can blink away. This isn't the easiest charge, especially if I kill that first guy. This will be a, uh, it'll go from a six to a, Nine. Nine. Ooh. That's okay. Well, those front two guys are the heavy bolters, so I'm very inclined to pull them first. Yeah. <laughs> That's this how that one, usually though, works. I very cleverly made sure I could move the front unit onto mm -hmm. the objective here. Yep. 
two, and then six, and then boom. So even if everything goes awry, they I'm are all sec. But they're continue. Sec. Yep. Never mind. Right oh, to war. Oh, right master. War. What a. What a <laughs> I was, uh, Which one's got the rights of war? <laughs> it's this guy. The book. Yep. A book. Yep. He's That's tough for these talent masters. Talk to uh, they are T6, five up invulnerable against shooting, except for him. He has a four up invulnerable against shooting and eight wounds each and character status. Uh, and they are both within three inches of both attack bike squads. And the attack bikes don't have invuls, but do you. They do also have invuls. They do have Raven wings. So that's a five or a four? They're a five up right now. Can you get that higher? Not until my next movement phase. I would have had to advance, and I chose not to to get the better uh, hit rolls. All right. So let's think about what we want to do here. We could get the succubus into this incubi and in which or this incubi and rack raider. Mm -hmm. This incubi and rack raider probably wants to shoot. Um, I really want to flame a town master away. That would be ideal. Ooh. This one doesn't have a five pinball from shooting? It has a five up invulnerable against right. shooting and I can one CP give it a four up invulnerable against shooting. Okay. So it's not gonna be easiest, easiest or just go for multi-melt attack likes. Mm -hmm. This raider here could go 22 inches and then fire and fade so I think that's the play we're kind of be looking for. Yep. Um, 22 inches. If I just go all the way through the wall, it gives me lots of options. So we'll spend a CP and auto advance this raider with our enhanced ether sails to move enhanced it 22. Enhanced ether sails? I don't want that. Enhanced ether sails. Can I affect that? You cannot. Oh, oh, or I could go this way. Sure can. Flame some intercessors. Probably Those don't kill them. Um, but then I, I knock out these infiltrators and. Uh, That'd be pretty cool. I'm not in the mood for that. Leave my let's infiltrators put, alone. Let's put a pin in that idea, actually, because we might go that way entirely. <laughs> um, okay. If I do that and I take this flank a little bit from John <clears throat> with some rack raiders, then I'm gonna pretty much collapse that flank, uh, which isn't the end of the world because John's pretty set up to fight me that way, and I could just come swing hard this way. Yep. Dark Eldar things. Dark um, Eldar things. I'm just trying to apply a lot of pressure to Nick here. I was not, I've seen what happens when Nick gets a running start at you with his Dark Eldar army. You get run over. I have no interest in this fight being resolved in my own deployment zone. I think it's going to get resolved in your own deployment zone. I, well, I'm no interest in it happening in my own deployment zone on turn two. If we can push it back, it buys me time and buys me points. And I am okay with that. So you can't respond to this side very quickly at all. Those Terminators will trundle over there. Trundle. I, I, I said trundle. trundle. I know what they're doing. <laughs> they're trundling. That is so tempting. Um, Perhaps it's bait. But no, who would ever do that? No, no. No? Not no. bait. Okay. Mistakes, not bait. Ah, yes, of course. Um, alternatively, so realistically, a raider is going to be right here. Mm -hmm. Let's use the dead raider so I can see Ooh. what the footprint is like. Um, let's use this raider. So I'll have a raider right about here. Oh. And I can make it so you can't fight me through the wall, so you'd have to come all the way around. So I'm not too worried about the Terminators. You got a second raider right here. Then you'd only be shooting me from like these angles, which is the Town Masters, the Dreadnought, and the Attack Bikes, which is most of your army. Yep. <laughs> um, but I could make it so you have quite a lot to handle right there. That is true. You have your own options, it seems. Mm. The collapse in that flank does seem very powerful, so maybe that's a job for you. Um, How oh, isn't it going to split up his army? These are the questions I have. That's that is the <clears throat> that is the big question here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is get the fight last archon out and get Drazar into that one. Have that raider go on an adventure. Um, that'll get him shot to pieces. <laughs> this is hard. This is hard. It's really this is a big turn for me because it depends on which flank do I fight this battle. Yep. Um, so this one doesn't exist, it's the dead one. I go 22 here, Flamer attack bikes wound you on fours, you're taking fives, you'll spend CP, you'll take fours, i probably kill like a bike. This doesn't feel great. Um, there is always an apothecary if you only kill one. Alternatively, I spend this turn repositioning and uh, just setting myself up for the future. I have bottom a turn. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think, All right. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get Drazar into that raider. And uh, I like it. then we're gonna move 22 inches. Although, if I'm like here, these things move how far? Uh, they move, if they're in Devastator Doctrine, which I can spend command points to manipulate, they will move 19 and can advance and shoot. So like 25-ish inches. This one will definitely see me. Yep. The Dreadnought realistically won't. Those guys... Realistically won't. Well, realistically won't. Yeah, I think this is fine. So is gonna get in, and then we're gonna use Enhanced Ether Sails to move 22 inches. Okay. 
Yoink, 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 yoink. No, 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 no. And we'll make sure we can fire a Phantasm Grenade Launcher. Which is What's 18, the range on that? 18. 18. So we'll hit a Terminator with that and use that Fire and Fade to just sneak around the wall. Ooh, very nice. And we have Flamers into both of the Infiltrator units. Although, how many... It's only one Infiltrator unit. One Infiltrator unit. Yep. And two are in cover? Uh, it should be three. Three cover. Two were, but that's oh, okay. Fine. Sorry. Um, no female pain here? Nope. So everyone is a dead one. Every failed save is a dead Infiltrator. I, I cannot fight that. I might not kill the Infiltrators with this Rack Flamers unit thing. I might. I might not. Fours be like that. Mm -hmm. But I will... Uh, I'll have this thing in a pretty obnoxious spot for John to try to fight. Yeah, absolutely you will. Um, from there, I can just, uh, I can really shift this way because John won't get angles to me from that spot. That's what Nick thinks. <laughs> That's what I think. I'll be given Remember that the advance and shoot, primary. again, in Devastator Doctrine, which I have to spend command points to do, could also apply to the attack bikes. It's um. any Raven Wing. And they would also get the three inch movement. So if I do that on an attack bike squad, it'll change his move to 17, auto advance six, and it'll go 23 inches and still be shooting him. Yeah, yeah. It'll take a minus one penalty to do that, full disclosure. Let's advance the slits. The slits? The slits and ergles. <laughs> oh. 13 inches, what friendly creatures. Yep. Now I should point out to Nick that the slits are taller than the barricades he is hiding behind, so they will just get shot at. Yeah, a real slith wouldn't, but these ones are, unfortunately. So these are the models we are using. Even though we have real slits right there. <laughs> but I will take a cover save from the slits because that is true. they will they appreciate cover. I think that sounds lovely. All right. Nick has given me shots into the slith and ergle party. We're gonna see if I can do enough damage for that to actually matter. No, slits and ergles don't matter. <clears throat> All right. There's more slits and ergles, they're just gonna uh, oh I've moved two different squads. Oh well. That's fine. <laughs> they're just gonna sneak up in there. Okay. Ready to dogpile on that objective in the Future turns. Oh, how dare you? Um, the racks and Drazar are over here now. Okay. The so that's ten racks and a Drazar in that raider. That's a big pain. Mm -hmm. A giant pain right there. This raider is going to come <coughs> on up. Mm -hmm. on site. Warrior is going to raise a banner on this objective. The, the lone Cavalite. Warrior, what a guy. Should've, I clearly needed an orbital to finish him off. Ah, yes. The, the classic <laughs> John orbitals. The classic orbitals. <laughs> All right. Let's How get, are you feeling right now, Nick? Sucky this year. I'm feeling all right. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going too strangely. I got bottom of turn, so I'm going to try to press that advantage for a little while. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's going to advance. We're not going to shoot much this turn. Really, just uh, wait for a nice explosive turn two. Oh, I like war, it. Huh? Oh. Trying to turn this down. I'm going to turn this into three different deployments this game. <laughs> So that is uh, the fact of having an army faster than the opponent. I will not contest that. Nick is faster than me. And that He's one's going to advance. Raiders. Beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, okay. yank, yank, yank. Yep. John went pretty hard on that flank. I could have tried to fight him back. Might be the right call. But I have gone for a different approach. We'll see if it bites me in the butt here. Absolutely. Thank you, bye. Just going to sneak up here, not, um, not tagging the wall, of course. Mm hmm. Do, do, do. Rocks in one of those. There's two witches here. Succubus. She Did will she advance. Did she get into a? Oh, I thought you were oh, a raider. She did get into a raider. I'm sorry. Okay. No problem. Um, get her away from me. <laughs> get that succubus far away from me, <laughs> please. And these two witches will. Not do anything. So uh, we'll just hide. Give you life. Okay. All right. Now hiding. End of the movement phase. I could take a raider that's within six of a board edge and put it into strategic reserves. Oh, that is true. Which I don't know if is too helpful for me, but it's something I'm going to consider here. Mm -hmm. um, just because it'll give John different angles to, to be threatened by, instead of right now is very Dawn of War-y. We don't um, need screens where we're going. We don't need screens where we're going. I think I will. I think I will spend that command point, and I will put the Rack, Succubus, and Incubi Raider. All right, Rax, Succubus, and Incubus. Going into strategic reserves inside their boat? Inside their boat. That's crazy talk. So that whole boat package is coming in. Next, Next turn. turn. Oh, boy. Maybe we do need screens where we're going. All right, let's do some shooting. All right. Little light piddly shots from the Mandrakes into this attack bike squad. Let's see it. Oh, I need threes to hit. Great hits. And I need fives to wound. And those, those sixes, sixes will be mortal. Yeah, let me get those sixes again. I will take one mortal and three AP ones. All right, so just three four up saves for me. Uh, that will do two total wounds to a bike. Nice. And um, I'll just put it on. Um, 
This is on the back squad? Yep. I think I'm okay, actually. I've got six inches to two bikes, so I'll put it on the back one. Okay. Because if he only kills one, then I, that'll just be the one that stands up anyway. Oh, Ooh, a drop dice oh, for Nick. Boy. There's a bet we can oh, make about this boy. one, folks. Let's do the Mandrakes into that, uh... Where's your Papa here? He's over there somewhere. He's there, but he's on a bike, so he can be here. Yeah, but then he's over here. It's just that's, you have to that's like. true. Um, <clears throat> I will shoot the same bike unit. The same bike unit. Trying to make some headway here. A lot of hits, and then fives. Just four AP1s. Four AP1s, probably gonna kill the bike here, but he oh, we do the and bike. The wound. Wounds the next, so we've got three wounds left on to the next bike. And the overwatch here is no scarier than normal, right? No, I, I, I don't have chapter master on them, it's one CP. Okay. Do the thing. So over there, let's start, we're gonna overcharge the first unit of racks into those inter intercessors. Would you like mm -hmm. to do any infiltrators? Um, I'll actually go ahead and spend the command point on transhuman here. If I have one rack left, um, it, it could be the different. I'm sorry, if I have one infiltrator left, it's the difference between a 10 and 15 on primary. Definitely. So one command point, let's just see what I can do. Now the question here is if I want to black heart the transhuman. There's not much to transhuman in John's army, so normally I would against space teams, but I think here it's I will the literal it. only unit that actually can transhuman. So we will, we will not. Okay. Uh, nine shots though. All right, Great good start. number of shots for Nick. We'll see how this continues. It's going to continue into a lot of dead infiltrators. Transhuman putting in the work, though, only three wounds. All right, we'll take uh, two in cover, four mm -hmm. ups. Builds both. both. Take one out of cover, makes it. All so right. just two dead so far. Two down so far. Let's do the uh, the next squad, same place, same time. Twelve shots! Nick, you complain about my Megaris, and then you do this to me. I, I rolled bad wounds. I don't know what you're talking about. But that wasn't bad wounds. That is seven uh, wounds. <clears throat> okay. We'll take them two at a time on guys that are not in cover. Mm-hmm. That'll be that. And then this last dude. It's feeling lucky, punk. Nope. No, not even CP gone. in that. He's gone. Beautiful. Ouch. So that will be the was 10. Not, I was really hoping the Raquifiers would not be enough to finish me off there. The but uh, are always enough. Well, it, when that happens, it sure is. Let's shoot the Phantasm Grenade Launcher from the... Uh, from the Raider? The Raider into yep. these Terminators. All right. It's D3 shots. Three. Be, I'm blastable. You're blastable. Three shots. Thank you. Do I hit you? I hit you twice. What's your leadership, John? Uh, ten. Ten. All right. Let's roll some 11. I'm normally mm -hmm. nine. Oh, very close. Oh. I'm normally nine, but I'm plus one for my Astartes banner. You would be. I will fire and fade down to six command points, but All right. we, are, we are going places. Seven inches here. Just, there's just like, a raider there. Not just, much to be done about it. It's just there's a raider there. Just a raider with racks, chilling like a villain. Yep. Very unfortunate turn of events. Just really hoping the infiltrators could hold on for one turn. Alas, it was not to be. And we're gonna put ourselves at such an angle. Yeah, it's gonna be very difficult for me to shoot Nick. I, one talon master has the opportunity, but frankly, I don't think he wants to expose himself so such. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's just as likely that I decide not to. Yep, so we're just gonna, we're gonna park right here. We're at the part, uh, we're gonna be harder for the Terminators to charge. We'll be like all the way over here. But the Terminators do want to charge, I got Drazar on here. Mm -hmm. So, shouldn't be too bad. I don't think the Slits and Urgles can shoot anything, nope. So, uh, let's just do some Mandrake charging action. We will do the back squad, we'll do the front squad into the two-man bike squad. Okay, go right ahead, I'm not gonna bother overwatching here. I don't expect right. this to do enough to matter. 10 inches will be glorious. Yep. Yoink, 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 yoink. All right, and we'll give ourselves the option to potentially trap that attack bike if we roll awesome here. The next squad will make it on a nine. Very nice. Which attack bike are you going to try to trap? That one, if it comes to be it. Be impressed, but I guess if you kill some models, you might be able to get into it. Yeah, the front one's wounded, so it's possible. Mm -hmm. We will start off with this unit of five Mandrakes. Um, if you'd like to use any strats here, I don't know. No. Okay. So a lot of attacks. Hitting on threes, winning on fives, right? Hitting on threes, winning on fives. All right, good hits, good hits. No problem, toughness five is gonna save me here. Nah. I think so. Nah. Yeah. One? One AP one. Uh, AP two. AP two. AP two. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's okay on a warp fire. And I'm assuming you don't feel the need to... Uh, <clears throat> interrupt? Interrupt? I, I would assume not. Okay. I don't think it's realistic to try to trap these attack bikes, so we'll just swing here. Um, All right, I like it. Do, do, do. We'll make some space. We'll probably end up engaging both just huh, to try to... need the, space? The shooting away. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, so you're four, engaging six. both? They've got two attacks each right now? Yeah, they have two, they have three. Yeah, I'll, I'll engage both. Okay. Six more attacks, it's not going to matter. 
I'm gonna die in your turn, and I'm gonna live through mine. Ah ha ha! Um, just one AP one. Really bad wound rolls there, but I don't think this matters too much. Nope. It does wound a singular attack bike. Uh, he was already wounded, so he's yeah. got it too. So I was hoping would uh, kill a bike with all that, but it's okay. All right. Uh, nice. Swing on back. You can swing on back. Excellent. We will pile in some attack bikes because mm -hmm. there's no reason not to. Mm-hmm. Just want to get more guys in coherency. We're not going to base you with this. I'll probably just try to get a little further so that when I fall back, I can shoot into uh, this uh, unit over here. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here we go. This is just six attacks from my attack bikes into this Mandrake squad here. Mm -hmm. I'm hitting on threes because mm -hmm. uh, you're minus one and I'm plus one because I didn't move this turn. Mm -hmm. And there we go, wounding on threes as well. That'll be three invulns on that Mandrake squad. Three invulns on the Mandrakes. You did, uh, you did, right. You did yep. Move, just to explain that. One dead. One dead? You know what? That's okay. This is this one or that one? This. This one. Okay. All right, and then they'll just consolidate around. I've already got OPSEC from this bike squad, so I don't need it on both. Yep. And they're not exactly failing a morale check. Mm -hmm. And then here we go. This is uh, six more attacks into the wounded squad. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, just three hits. That'll be three more wounds. Three more See if we can wounds. pick up some Mandrakes. Three, three Mandrakes Mandrake. down. That's okay. They do owe you a morale check. They uh, don't care. They, they, leadership nine. they lost four. They lost three. It was, it was all in the same, same squad. squad. Yep. Well, then they're going to die. Aha! <laughs> and even better, this attack bike squad's not in combat anymore. Woo! That's fantastic. All right. Um, I think, uh, is that it for you? That's it for me. What are your secondaries looking like, Nick? I am going to score three points on priority targets. Don't have um, a good, good, good counter to that. Nope. Heard the prey comes not right now. Uh, not yet. And uh, neither uh, banners, so that's it. Just three points on priority targets. Okay, and you raised one banner so far? Yep, one back there. All right. Not not too opposed to that. That's uh, I just need to keep Nick's uh, banner score pretty low, mm -hmm. ideally. This attack bike squad is in combat. They very well may have to fall back and shoot, but also I may not even need to spend those command points. I'm going to get a 10 on primary. I'm holding two. Unfortunately, that raider was able to fire and fade onto the objective, and with no infiltrators, Nick denied me my sweet, sweet 15. Yes. I sweet. had my hopes up there, but alas, it was not to be. What were your secondaries, Jimmy? Just you remind me. Uh, I took domination, mm -hmm. priority target, and thin the ranks. Thin the ranks, gotcha. Yep, I didn't take any of the usual ones, my Dark Angel <laughs> wheelhouse, because I. Just didn't feel as confident in this game. No, but I think your secondaries are fine, though. We're going to just check some uh, range things here, just to make sure it looks like one Terminator will not be able to shoot at mm -hmm. this uh, Slithurgle party. Yeah. If I just, uh, with after movement, that is, because I'm only moving three inches right now. Mm -hmm. But it'll be enough to put a single OPSEC model on that center objective. Very nice. So, real quick, break down for me what exactly is in these Raiders. Of course. So, in this one back here, We've got 10 witches and the Fight Last Archon. Mm -hmm. In this one back here, we've got five Incubi, five witches, and the Super Combat Archon. So 10 witches, Fight Last Archon. Yep. Five Incubi, five witches, and Combat Archon. All right. A Slith and Urgul <clears throat> Fiesta right here. A Fiesta. And then the Rax and Drazar is over there. A whole Fiesta, you say? A whole Fiesta. Um, uh, can you open up the uh, Dark Angel Psychic Powers while I move? Sure. I'm going to need to uh, actually measure some, check some ranges from Ezekiel. Which one? I want to put some spells. Onto that uh, Slith and Urgle party. Oh. Specifically looking at the fight last. The fight last. The fight the last, Urgles. I say. Um, we'll go ahead and put uh, both Chapter Master and um, the uh, minus one damage. We're going to end up putting both of those onto this uh, unit of Terminators. Fight last is 18 inches. 18 mm -hmm. and is what? Is the takeaway obsec slash or is the 24? The takeaway obsec is 24. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, in uh, so right now, um, Asriel is going to for free put this dreadnought into Devastator Doctrine. Right. That's just because he's got a clean shot on Slits and Urgles. I want to take it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I'm going to put this one into a different doctrine. I frankly don't plan on it shooting much. Mm -hmm. uh, what I really want to do is reorient these Terminators and pull everything out away behind it. So these Terminators are just touching the objective, shooting away at the Slith and Urgle party, and they are braced to take this uh, this shot from this deployment zone. Right. And if he wants to put, drop the hammer onto the Terminators, I'm okay with that. It's the toughest unit of my army. That's where I would rather the hammer blow fall, yeah. especially in a forest, minus one damage, defensible terrain, overwatch is gonna suck. Mm -hmm. He can ignore it, but then he's committing witches and this. Um, so let me just, can you hold this over the closest Urgle? The closest Urgle, it's right there. Yeah. Okay, so I would need to get Ezekiel right there. And if I move these Terminators forward, I can create a spot where Ezekiel will need an advance, but he could make that spot. 
If I can make that Slip and Urgle party fight last, I'm going to feel a lot better mm -hmm. about uh, whether or not Nick goes into me because then he has to commit the Archon. Right, right. And cast a spell, make Nick commit an Archon, then I potentially kill the Archon because I think I'll still be alive mm -hmm. uh, after this, this uh, kitchen sink that Nick uh, could potentially throw at me. So this Dreadnought's going to hold still, so he's going to hit on twos. Okay. Um, and I think from there, this attack bike squad is just going to move 14 inches. It's in Tactile Doctrine. Um, I think I just want to light up uh, these infantry over here, remove <laughs> Nick's resources. Nice, nice. That's what I wanted touching to. Touching the wall there? They're all touching the wall here. Beautiful. This is not great. Yep, I've got bolt guns for these witches, and I've got everything else for the Incubi. Actually, there's how many witches? There's two. Okay, we may do something else for that. <laughs> we may just do everything in the end. Let's actually, we'll make that a four-inch charge. Okay. Why not, right? Sure. We can mm -hmm. beat up two witches. These guys are actually probably not even going to uh, spend their they're command. Just gonna they're not even going to, they're just going to fall back. Okay. Um, Nick could pull his, his radar on from strategic reserves here because this is his board edge. But correct me if I'm wrong, there's no guns in that one? Uh, there are five racks in that one. Okay, five racks, so I should respect it. Mm -hmm. But even if he uses that stratum to disembark a unit afterwards, that won't follow the rules for strategic reserves, so that still has to be nine inches away from me. That's true. So I don't care as much about the raider, more about the units inside. Mm -hmm. um, I think I just um, I think I just fall back here, quite frankly. One mm -hmm. of them's got... Uh, two, two wounds left. left. I, I, I'm planning to apothecary that away anyway. Okay. So you know what? Let's actually um, back up even more. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just make it so that if I stand up a model, it will stand up on that objective. Nice. And we will uh, use an apothecary to solve that problem by just touching him right here. These Talonmasters are really just planning to blow away this unit right here. Blow just away. Just blow it away. Yep. Very good. Very now good. we are going to move these Terminators up. Uh, mm -hmm. They're going extremely <laughs> slow because there's a forest right here. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Extremely slow is going to have to be good enough. Uh, he should be able to, yeah. That was because I, I pre-measured him. Oh, he he is not. I have one model on the objective. That was my pre-measure on turn one. I made sure that one model could make it onto the objective. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I did it. One model is on. There you go. That's enough for me. And yes, I can 100% get hit by the contents of that raider. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to stop that. That's Quite the frankly. spirit. <laughs> I'm just being honest about uh, what Dark Elder do here. And that means that if the biker goes here, he will be within three inches, give them a feel no pain, cover this unit to heal a model up. So I feel pretty good about that. Ezekiel will go ahead and um, let me just make sure I've got my two inch coherency. Just leaving a gap so Ezekiel can advance and try to hit that spot. Mm -hmm. So Ezekiel will go ahead and roll that advance roll now. Uh, two is. Means he's gonna go six inches. I doubt that's enough. Let's just hold this over that closest Durgle again. Yep, pretty much right there. Okay. Not right on the one side of the wall yet. So for me to go right to this point, mm -hmm. it looks like I need a three on the advance. Oh no. I'm re-rolling that. He's gonna re-roll it. We're doing it for the Emperor. For the Emperor. Huzzah! He rolls a one! Oh. Once for the Emperor! Well, Ezekiel in that case is moving seven inches directly away. What a loser. Excuse you, sir. That is rude, unsportsmanlike. Mm -hmm. All right, the um, this little Terminator command squad is just uh, sitting back right here. Just meandering. We'll just advance. Mm -hmm. We'll back up. So I'm gonna end up uh, rearranging all these characters backwards. Okay. Um, uh, I, again, I don't anticipate shooting much here. My plan is to lay shots into this Slith, Slith and Urgle party, uh, really do some good damage to them. I've got the Terminators. I've got this Dreadnought. I've, the plan is to kill a lot of that unit. Yep. And then I've got the rest of this. And um, I expect that's just going to be me pot shotting heavy bolters downfield. But that also means that I really want these Talmasters to be safe. John's not really taking much casualties here. We're uh, looking at line up much damage on my side, but nope, he's taking um, shots he's giving them. Absolutely. Uh, we'll just put both Terminators into cover because there's no reason not to. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Just making this hard. Where is the closest point that Drazer could disembark? Uh, like right here, or like on the right there. And Drazar move seven? Move seven. Okay, so if he were to go around the forest and roll a six to advance, he could end up like there. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that Drazar does not have an easy charge into any characters. That doesn't look right. Give me the two measure. 
Thank you. It's 13 inches from my side of the wall. That's a six million inch. So, yeah, yeah. So, right. Okay, so like an yeah, inch. Yeah, I'd be like an inch away from okay, the left guard, man. Yep. All right, well, he's going to move. So, okay. <laughs> um, Asriel is just uh, reorienting to right here. Mm -hmm. We'll actually, yeah, we're good right there. And then the uh, Blade Guard Ancient will advance. Now his minus one damage, that's all Terminators in one range or just one unit? That's the unit, okay. a unit. One. And it's a command face pulse. Okay. So I pick them, if you kill them, they're still minus one damage. Okay. This unit of Terminators is not minus one damage, right. if that is uh, the question you were asking. I just wanted to know. I think that's the question Nick was asking. I like Flips. knowing these things. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, just a quick shout out to King Hef. He just gave him a five pound super chat. Says, drag them to the slave pits, Archon, not oh. What? Oh. What? I no. like the sound of that Archon, I do not a body. Not. Look at that. I do not like this one freaking bit. All right, so I'm just making sure that my Talmasters have assault cannons yeah. into these Mandrakes. These Mandrakes can be fine. I don't wish to forget about them in all the hustle He's gonna and forget about bustle. The no, not in the hustle and bustle, I won't. He's hustling and bustling and forgetting the Drakes. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, so at the end of my movement phase, we're going to heal that, that guy, and we will uh, stand up and attack bike Ooh. onto the objective again. Getting... Saucy. I, I am. I am trying to be a little saucy Broken here. Broken Dark Angel things. I wouldn't say that's what we're doing, but sure. Um, and I think I am uh, good to go there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off... Just to make sure now they are not OPSEC? They are not OPSEC. I need to kill this unit. Okay. But I've got three Talonmasters, oh, and uh, yeah. so we're going we're gonna to give mm -hmm. it a good old, a good old try. Uh, unfortunately, Ezekiel did not make it to make this Slip and Urgle party fight last. <laughs> that sucks, but I had to move the Terminators first that I knew where they were going to end up. Um, and on <coughs> that note, I think, so what I really need to do is not kill the entire <coughs> Slip and Urgle, kill all four Slip with the first thing that shoots. Yeah. So what I think we're going to start off with is the little stuff, like mm -hmm. these attack bikes here. Okay. We're going to put, because these, uh, these guys are not touching cover, right? Nope. So we're gonna just put every single gun except the heavy bolter into the incubi. Yep. And we will put the heavy bolter into the witches. Looks good to me. So I assume you're not gonna spend any strats here. If yep. you lose incubi, you lose incubi. Yep. So these are 12 bulk guns into the incubi. Mm -hmm. We go hidden on threes, does not feel bad. Wounded on threes as well. And these are AP1 in tactical doctrine. Oh man. We're like tactical. Tactical, tactical fours. One's no, going one. down. Bom, bom, We're bom, bom, survive bom. this. And the melt melt is three hits. hits. All right. It is two. only two invulns. Two six ups. Make a six up. All three right. incubi there's, left. There's an incubi. Okay. And then this is a heavy bolter into the witches. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, one, one hit. hit. And it does wound. One Kills a single witch. So we have one witch and three incubi. Mm. One attack by trade. All right. Mm. That's okay. Well, they're probably going to charge and then leave. <laughs> leave? What do you mean leave? <laughs> exactly what I said. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just do cute stuff first. We're going to put an assault cannon here and one twin heavy bolter in the uh, that squad. All right. I'm going to spend one command point and sure. give myself plus two to cover saves for okay. when I'm benefiting from light cover. Okay. Um, I guess I didn't know you had a cover. I guess I should pick them as the thing that I ignore cover against. That'll only be core. So your Terminators? The Terminators and the Conductor would ignore cover. Oh, I mean, then, then needs I'm to be. Care about using the strat. Okay, yeah. yeah. I have to do my command phase actually, but I'll just have this Talmaster pick them. Okay, before he moves. still at 6 CP then. Yeah. Um, the the Talmasters will not ignore cover though. I don't, yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so this is just a heavy bolter into the Slyph and Urgle. I realize that. Ooh. I'll not put them there, but that's okay. That's the, you know, Talmasters. Um, that is going to be four AP1s. Four AP1s. So we'll take them on Slyphs. And two damage each. All right, so the first slip is going to take four female pains and, and dot die, wounded. and then he will and he'll die. die. And then we will take another two damage on the slit. So slit down and the slit's wounded. All right, and then we are going to put 12 shots from the assault cannons into these mandrakes. These are hidden on twos because the towel master does not take penalties to hit rolls. What a guy. Oh, those ones do miss, still miss, though, but then twos to wound. We'll take eight invulns on this uh, Mandrake squad. Easy. Not easy. They're Not gone. easy. They're out. They're all right. So there's all these slith. I think we're just going to put another lone heavy bolter into them. Okay. So a twin heavy bolter off of the next Talon Master. Mm -hmm. I think only two can actually see you, so the third one will not be shooting this turn. Whoa. Okay. This guy is going through a forest. He sure is. Oh, yeah, he is. One hit. That'll be a wound. 
Slith's gonna take it, and Slith is gonna not care. No, feel no pains, look at that, look at that. That's so okay. All okay. right, so I can do these tactical terminators and probably kill all the Slits, or I can do this Contemptor Dreadnought and probably kill all the Slits. Mm -hmm. mm, I think, you know what, tough choices here. I think the, we're gonna start with the Contemptor. Let's start with the Contemptor, all right. Three, six. Shouldn't kill my unit, but should definitely hurt eight. it. 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16. Hitting on fours with that forest. Uh, threes because I'm a Dark Angel unit that did not move. Oh, nice. All right. So I could lightning fast this. Okay. That would fours. take me back down to fours. Rerolling everything. Rerolling ones. He does not have Chapter Master on him anymore. Oh, we're doing this. We're doing that. All right. Back down to fours. Mm hmm. Rerolling. Look at all those twos nope. and threes. One of those was a one. Yeah, you have two, two ones in there. There's two ones, yep. Mm -hmm. Ding, 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 ding. This is actually kind of okay because I just don't want to wipe out all the slits. Oh, I want the terminators gonna wipe the slits. to light them up. So that'll just be six AP ones. Six AP ones. So I could take this. They do two damage each. Realistically, mm -hmm. it'll take. <clears throat> oh, it's gonna come. Well, there's a wounded slit, so you might as well start there. Well, yeah. Uh, I'll just roll his saves. I'm gonna try to survive this. So uh, here's the slith. Yep. He's fine. He's not fine. He takes two damage and dies. Okay. okay, and then I'll just take on the slits. Uh, two failed saves to the there slits. There will be a slith alive. That's so, what I like. Uh, there will be a slith alive. All right. So you failed three saves, right? Yep. So to these two slits die, he's going to be okay. Okay. Oh. I thought you failed threes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you're right, you're right. Please, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and yep, Terminator time. Take it, take it, take it. Terminator time. I am minus one to hit already. Mm -hmm. I could one CP uh, the first company is angry at you and get plus one CP. But a lot of these Terminators are probably going through a forest anyway. So I'm just not going to bother. They're hitting on fours. There's a heavy penalty on the auto cannons anyway. But I've got my Chapter Master rerolls, so we're going to be okay. Yeah. So okay. here we go. And I am in Tactile Doctrine. Mm -hmm. And um, so these are just going to end up being six up saves. So I think one of them was out of range, was yep. what we pre measured before. So mm -hmm. let's start with these uh, auto cannons. Yep. And uh, where's my grenade launcher? My grenade launcher is definitely not an 18, so that's no problem. So here we go, these are the auto cannons. Mm -hmm. Full rerolls. Oh, chapter master you. Oh boy. Oh, that doesn't hit either. There we go. So now winning on twos, we're rolling ones. That is going to be six so far. These are one damage each? These are, everything is one damage, okay, though. Okay, so I'll just put these in the pile. Yep, so one, two. That's all AP one? All this is it. Uh, all of it is at least, it all ignores cover from the town master, and then it all has some AP, so it should take everything to a six minimum. I have armor saves. You have a five up armor? I have four up armor on this list. Five up? I'll check for you. Okay. Yeah, just double check because that, that would matter then. Because those are, those are, they are all AP1 though, actually. But uh, I thought they had a five up. One, two, three. I thought I wasn't getting shot. <laughs> four, five. Uh, four, five they all have five up. You're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, did, is, oh, is that why you thought you made. Eh, it doesn't matter. We'll just go with the Terminators. Okay. Because okay. you had six up saves against the Contemptor, not five ups. He's in Dev Doctrine? No, uh, he is, yeah, because uh, Azrael right. bumped him into... Well, it doesn't matter. Going on. Here's all the Storm Bolters. All right. Oh, boy. Remember, I am Lightning Fasted. Yep, so I'm hitting on fours, but I'm rerolling everything. Okay. There you go. Save me a little bit of pain. Hopefully this wound will Still pretty good hits. too bad. Wounding... Was this one of them, or is this another? No, no. I gave you okay. one. Wounding on threes, you're on ones. Yep. Let's get it done. Dark Angel Terminators, here of the first! I want to see you. Look at all those twos. I like it's the twos. Four twos, not too shabby. And I'll reroll these ones. That is a lot of six up saves on this Slip and Ergo party. Oh, this might be the Slip and Ergo party, but I have faith. Get them out of here. Six ups. Oh, look at those warp fires. Gorgeous, gorgeous warp fires. All right, and then some fuel pains. Is it enough? Oh, God. We, get, we don't feel pain. We are Slip and Ergles. One's down, two's down. Three is down, three and two wounds. Okay. All right. So we will lose two circles. And. Was the Slith the one taking saves last? Mm. Yeah, he's out. Get him out of there. No more Slith. No more Just slith. some Urgles. What was that? Okay. Two Urgles? Two Urgles. Two Urgles? I don't care about that. Congratulations, John. Your whole army killed 100 points. And you know what? I am <laughs> proud of it. I also <laughs> killed the two Incubi. And I killed five Mandrakes. He did it. But all that matters is that we're still in it. So that is going to uh, do it for my shooting. I don't think anything else is range, line of sight, or any combination of the above. So could you give me a morale check? No charging here? Uh, I will charge the witch, actually. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. 
Just the witch? Um, yeah, I'm not realistically looking to tango with Incubi. So let's just go ahead and charge in there. A seven, seven is definitely going to make it. So hey. here we go. John, I just want to go over something real quick with you. Absolutely. Uh, chat wants to know how you are ignoring cover with the Deathwing units. Because it's a six inch orb, ignore cover for Dark Angels units? Is it only. Oh, this would only. Ooh, change if it's everything. only Ravenwing. Well, it's a. I guess, yeah, you would have a better. Out of four saves from all this. Yeah, you thought you had a five, four of armor anyway. <laughs> okay, all right, so I let's check that now. Course. So. I don't know what it is. I'll, I'll look it up. It's okay. the Town Master. I um, thought it was all Dark Angels, but it might be. It might be only Ravenwing. Thank you, chat, for uh, getting us to check. This certainly matters. Doink, 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 doink. Mm -hmm. Um, Tile Master. <laughs> Where you at, buddy? There's no Tile Master. Shape. It is Ravenwing Core, oh, not just wow. Core. So, so, like, not the Dreadnought or the Terminators, which did most of the work. I well, guess. you would, if you did the strat, you would have had five up saves instead of six ups. Because they were all at least AP1, and you had five up armors that would have gone to, to five ups with cover. So, it would have mattered a lot. Do you want to add a couple models back, or you want to just reroll I'll, I'll put a guy back, and we'll just go. I think we should do two. Two guys? You think so? I, I think we should add. I think we should add more than one. Appreciate that. Yeah, Let's I think we should lean in your favor here because that was a mistake on my part. My apologies. Also. No, no, that's my fault as well. All right, so one slit in there, go come back to life. All right. I'll keep the wounds because I feel like somebody would be wounded from all this. Yeah, take it off. It's fine. You sure? Yeah, take it off. It's like eight wounds uh, I'm getting yeah, back I, here. I messed up. That's me. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. No, of course. But we are gonna kill this one witch. That's what matters to me. That's that's what matters to you. This one witch. Well, she's not. She's not dying. This. All right, this we. Is she's a succubus. No, no, she's not the succubus. She's, okay. She's she's the like, heck is <laughs> this is a succubus. Please allow me to read. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're good. You're good. That's fine. So we're just gonna swing here. We've just got six attacks. Yep. Hitting on threes. No rerolls. Wounded on threes. Just yep. See what we can get done. See what you can do. Uh, four hits. Mm -hmm. Let's get it done. Go attack bikes, go four saves. Four saves. She don't give a crap. She about does. That. She's, she's out of here. She's out of here. She's out of here. She's out of here. You want to consolidate into the incubi? No, we want to consolidate into the two incubi. command points and we're going to move. What do you mean you're going to move? I'm not consolidating. Where, I'm moving. Where are you going? We're out of here. Look at, look at this. Look how close going. I am. We're going away. What is happening right now? We're leaving. <laughs> we are. We are. So done with this how, how does that work? This is a raven wing stratagem mm -hmm. that allows you to make a normal move or a fallback instead of consolidating after you fight in close combat. I see. That's so sucks. in this instance, I will make a normal move. <laughs> Do I want to vex this? I don't think this it's is going to happen command too points. many times. Yeah, if it's I'm three command points, you're just never using it again. That is true. I just want this to be a really nice long charge. If he tries to get me from these raiders, I'm like 24 inches away from these raiders. He could still charge me, but now it's like get a good advance roll and still have a pretty make long charge. What other strats do you have that I'm concerned with? You could do fall back and shoot. After this turn, I'm gonna back this. Oh, this is getting back. No more okay. falling back and doing stuff. Okay. Okay. I don't All like right. when you move when you're not supposed to move. I'm I was just moving. All right, I am a up there. You've killed four models, yep. and I, my slit is only leadership seven sure. for Black Heart. And we're on a one, we're good to go. On a one, we're good to go. Okay, Slits and Urgle still standing strong. All right, pity, pity, pity. Okay. Got no minor rolls there. So we're going to go up to six command points mm -hmm. and score 10 points on primary. Yep. Well, I, you will, but I need to get my own secondaries first. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So my secondaries, real quick, Forever Runner. I'm getting another three points on party target, another three points on uh, domination. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as number count, I killed four models there. Two models there, two models there. Yep. So that's another eight models. That Oof. plus the cap cap and, and the, get three in the ranks, I think. You've got two raiders, you've got, got five more. witches, fifteen mandrakes. I think you are at uh four. Yeah, four fourth in the rank points. Okay. So four points on thin the ranks, six of my other two secondaries. Mm -hmm. Uh I got a ten on primary and I'm giving Nick a ten on primary. Okay. All right. We'll Interesting so far. Weren't you at four CP a second ago? I was at seven and I went down to five when I spent two command points on this. Okay. Yep. I'm going to go up to 6 CP. Up to six. I'm going up to up 6 CP. Up to 6. And uh, I'm going to score 10 points on primary. Mm -hmm. and, and 1 point on raise the banners. 1 point on banners. 1 point on banners. That's okay. Let's let's think through our turn here, see what we can do. Yep. We could keep on flaming. Um, yep. We could flame uh, nothing really easily to be useful over there. We could dogpile Terminators. I feel like that's what John kind of wants me to do here. It is, yes. Um, how do I attack him from this angle? That's the question. Really trying to make sure that the, the Terminators are the most natural thing for Nick to hit. He does have that little Incubi squad who could definitely come uh, 
mess with my plans. But it's only three now, which I'll, is more than I was hoping for. It's still not the end of the world. Oh, that, that Archon. Yeah. Oh, oh what happened? He dropped an, an Archon off. No, not the Archon. The All right. tie. All right, I think we're going to start off by advancing this Slith and Urgul party. Oh no, the ones that's not fighting last. 11 inches. I'm just going to. They're pick very this distinctly up. not fighting last. I'm going to mark this so I can measure properly here. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, 11 inches on the Slith. Oop. <laughs> the Slith and Urgul party. Let's see where they want to go. So 11 inches could give me a uh, far ish. Oh, that's important. Um, I'll just measure the. Yeah, sure. Total distance. So that is more than 20. So if you move 11, you'll be more than nine away. So I'll be a nine inch charge there. Or if I go 11 here, <coughs> it would be not too far into Terminators. And if I go nine, it would be not too far. It'd be far into Terminators. Hey, John, um, quick question from the Absolutely. Chat. Is your army Ravenwing core? I'm assuming that's referring to the uh, Terminators who were not supposed to be ignoring cover, which is why we put a couple of Slith and Urgle back. However, my uh, attack bikes are the only Ravenwing, Ravenwing core in the army. If I charge your Terminators, is there any mechanism to allow them fall back and shoot? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen then. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we're going to go for this nine. Okay. Slith and Urgle party <laughs> is stepping out here. And when we do this, we will uh, be on turn three when John goes to do his shooting phase, and I'll have five invuls for power from pain. Ooh. That to will be cover? annoying. Am I trying to what? Take cover? No. I don't care about cover. Yeah, at this point, getting that five up invuln is pretty good in itself. Yeah, so we got a nine. I would love to hit that nine. Might even CP to hit that nine. Ooh, Just a CP reroll on a charge? We'll see, we'll see. I thought if I played I, Mark Perry on Tuesday. If I, we'll see. All right, what else do you think is coming out to hit me next? So these incubi certainly will. <laughs> they'll advance uh, nine inches. Okay, Still, that's going to be a pretty makeable charge. So I, I wasn't trying to get far enough away from the incubi. I was trying to get far enough away from everything else. Yeah. And three incubi is no longer the point that it auto wipes when it hits. It just Thanks. might hurt a lot. It hopefully, will hurt. If it, if only the incubi make the charge, I expect to have an attack bike left. I don't think. Um. So what can fall back and shoot? Anything. Anything for two for one CP. Two one CP. CP. Any dark angel unit can fall back and shoot. One CP. A biker or land speeder unit can fall back and shoot. Okay. So if you tag three units, that's when it gets annoying. I think here the racks might need to get out. Getting maybe. out? Maybe, maybe. Ooh. Just that objective keep John to a 10 on primary. I don't think I can let him get to a 15. Um, you definitely don't want me to get 15s. There's just not much <clears throat> good stuff to shoot. Um, I'm trying to deny as much as I can here. <laughs> I could go pick up. Uh, I could go pick up the apothecary, actually. He is within three inches of one Terminator and the. Uh, uh, the attack bike squad, but obviously if you just if get you just closer, right there. that yeah. would be close enough to shoot him. Mm -hmm. Definitely an option. Yeah. Um, be aware the apothecary has a four-up invuln against shooting because he advanced last turn. Ooh, so who doesn't have that four-up invuln? The bikes? They fell back, so they have a five-up invuln. They have a five-up invuln. Uh, the Talon Masters all have five-up invulns right now. I don't okay. think any of them advanced. Okay. Um, alternatively, I just raise a banner there and set up for a turn... Three big push. Ooh. And then I just re set up over here. Try to kill all this stuff. Yeah. I don't love it. Uh, I think that's how I get shot too hard. And, yeah. Would I ever? Oh, do I want to just blitz him? I mean, that, that means I don't come out with a slip. Yep. And you means. do also have a, a boat coming in from reserves this time. I do. I do. So um, that could come in anywhere. It's probably going to come in over here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Have a, a little rack. Uh, rack a little unit. rack unit and then just go for the charge, go for mm -hmm. some big plays over here. Big I think. plays coming here my yeah. way? Big plays. Big plays. I do like seeing big plays coming my way. So Drazar. Oh yes, Drazar. Send Drazar. <laughs> two Terminators on that objective? There are two Terminators, but it is the command squad. So they have Thunder Hammer Storm Shield. Uh, so they'll have four up invuls from Drazar. Mm -hmm. And three damage each should kill you, could not kill you, because they're permanently transhuman. They are permanently transhuman. And Drazar is not the warlord in this list. So Ooh, no rerolls. It gives me a chance. Um, alternatively, this boat just dips around out over here. Mm -hmm. This is sort of annoying for you to shoot at, actually. Um, I mean, you could just tag the ruin. Yeah, you are very bit. tall, so I just have to tag the ruin. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Um, Giving Nick interesting choices is all that I live for. Or we hit these Terminators as hard as possible with the Witches right now. That 
might actually be enough. I don't want to admit that, but it might be um, enough. <laughs> one CP ignores Overwatch. They have uh, two up, five ups is all they have? They have two up, five ups in combat and a four pin vulnerable against shooting, and they do currently have the feel no pain as long as that apothecary is alive. Six they six are six. also minus one damage. Yeah, so a bunch of witches would hurt but not kill. Would um, definitely hurt. If they get out and run this way, they're not charging anything. I think I need to stay in the boats and just overwhelm you this turn. Okay. Um, so let's see what that looks like. Alrighty. There's um, plenty of boats left, unfortunately. Not, I was, not great. <laughs> but I have killed two of them, which I'm, I'm not upset about. I think we're going to get a rack squad out. Right. We can't Thinking just contest the one objective and then push the boats up? Yeah, I think so. So okay. it'll advance. They can advance and shoot or charge. Yep. Just wonderful stuff there. Very far. There's no heroics here? Uh, no, they, the only heroics are my characters, three inches. I have no special heroic interventions in this okay. army. So we have a five plus a seven, 15 inches from this boat. Nice. Which will actually let us flamer this attack bike here. Ah, don't really, like that at all. Really much more useful than anything else I can do. Yeah, they do only have a five of invuln right now. Again, that is because of the uh, uh, the fact that they're Ravenwing. Mm -hmm. um, and I did not remain stationary. Yep. Just five, five little old racks. Five more inside Endrazzar. Five more inside Endrazzar. Oh boy. There's uh, uh, good old Drazzar. I'm, I'm going to have to come to terms with Drazzar at some point. I don't know when. But uh, not looking forward to it. I think <clears throat> the Slits and Urgles might go here and raise a banner, honestly. Ooh, that 8 inch move is going to put them right on the objective? Or they can get into this raider and send the raider off somewhere. Uh -huh. But I, I think coming here and raising the banner is better. In this case, the raider. The raider could just go. Help clear attack bikes, multi melters. I think I'm just gonna go for you. I'm just gonna go for you. I think that's the plan. Um, I would like to threaten your priority target objective. Yep. Um, I would like to stop your domination place. So, with that in mind, this boat could go 22 inches in charge. So it'll probably look at doing something like that and then coming to a pretty obnoxious angle for you. So we're gonna spend a CP on that boat. Oh, the enhanced ether sails are coming. Enhanced ether sails. Which boat is this? This is going to be 10, or this could be, so it's going to be this from one. the back of the boat, is it going to be beyond that point? Because like from right there, I think I can. Right, I'll do this boat. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure that you're not getting unexpectedly this, shot. This is the close one. I mean, it's so, going to charge, so it's not going to end up. Ooh, getting... it can advance and charge. Oh, Look at this boat. Charge. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 22 inches and then charging? Oh yeah, that's what's happening. I don't like that. What is going on here? Um, I didn't want this. You signed up for this. I did not. I, I think you did. I did not. I did not want this. There's 10 witches in that boat. Hoy vey. Hoy vey. <clears throat> um, this raider, I think, is going to... If it just moves back here, then I can advance and charge and clear that objective, no problem. But I'll clear this objective, no problem, either way. Ouch. If it moves 14, the back of it would not fire and fade to safety. Um, I think I need to just accept that for now. Oh, do I? Is it going to advance or just move? I don't know. I think. Ah, the hard choice is for Mr. Nanavati. I don't know. I think and we will... told him Dark Elder was too easy. I we're did. making him think over here. He lied to me. Um, I think we're going to go forward with it. And Ooh. potentially use some nice emergency bark tricks. So we'll just advance uh, 18, which is right up on this wall here. Oh no. Just, just. That's not what I needed. Oh no. And, like, and we'll make it so we can an emergency onto the back side of this objective if we want. Yep. And certainly through the wall. That's pretty potent right there. And then this raider, full of racks, and Drazar is going to need to advance wherever that is. Four, 18 inches. Beautiful. 18 inches? That's too many inches. And that is enough where we can start threatening the backfield here. No, we can't clear the ruin. Aha. Uh, we could with the fire and fade, but I think that's just a little too much oh. CP. Can you fire and fade? Oh, yeah, you have the Phantasm this Grenade Launcher. The Phantasm. Uh, so that's why it's a really cool tech base, letting you advance and still fire and fade for all of the movement shenanigans. Nick has built so many tricks into this Drukari army. It's honestly oh, yeah. impressive. Yeah, the Slits are going to raise a banner here in just all a right, second. All right, that's two banners up. Uh, don't know how much I could slow that down, but like we're gonna we're gonna try. Do I want to go for the the advance? That'll put me at three CP. Then if I have to reroll charges too, no, I don't think so. I think we're just gonna chill right here. Right. Not touching that ruin. Not it's gonna be pretty hard for me to shoot at that raider. Don't think that's realistic for me at all. 
And these sliths and ergols, yoink a doink a doink. Yep, that is the sound effect I make. Everyone knows that. That's well known. <laughs> well, well known fact. This is <laughs> yoink a doink a doink. <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a yogi bear. Like what is what is going on? And then over here. Oh, a raider from reserves. Another raider. From oh, reserves. why are there more raiders? There were just three of them. Why are there four now? We're gonna show up within one inch of our backfield. Oh, I edge. hate this so much. Not giving a crap about this. Oh my god! Why? Why? Oh, it's happening. I don't like anything. Oh, it's happening. Okay. Oh my goodness. Are you spending a command point to get anyone out of the raider? No, I think I'm I'm nice and chill there. Okay. Because uh, well, I still have to be nine away. That's cool. So oh, the warrior's no. gonna hold my backfield objective, and we <clears> are we are okay. All right. Let's do some shooting times. Yeah, I really wish that bikes could aspect scan, but that is an infantry-only stratagem. Which oh, I, yeah. <laughs> Big fan of that. <laughs> would, have been, would have been cool. Let's start off with a liquid fire axe into this bike. All right. Well, well I'm not transhuman, because that's a thing, but should just win me on fours. Six shots. Not bad. Okay, it's already getting fours. better than last time. You were saying? Six wounds? <laughs> Five of pinballs. Five of pinballs. Fine. I spoke too soon. I admit it. Oh, the squad is gone. I've got to feel no pain. Oh. Him. Wounded. Dead. Next guy. Dead. <laughs> that feels so bad. These are two damage each. Yeah, it's four wounds. <laughs> you oh, I just three. Oh, jeez. Oh, sorry. So one, one guy's wounded. Yeah, one guy's wounded. Yeah, I, what died. am I doing? He just died. Okay. Thank you. So, so one, one guy's one guy, wounded. One guy. I need to roll four more feeling pains, essentially. So, because no, I failed four. You've only rolled three sets of feeling pain so far. Yep. You passed one on the first one, knocking yep. him to three wounds. Then you've killed, knocked him to one. Now he died, the wound gets lost. You have three sets of feeling pain left to All take. Right. Four damage on the next guy. Thanks, guys. He's wounded. And he and now dies. he dies. All right. Two got to the died. same place. <laughs> Still feels bad. No, no, that's, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I, I got nothing. Okay. One attack bike left. Annoying, because I don't think I can kill that attack bike, but I'm pretty happy with the results here. Yeah, I'm just trying to have him alive, just so I've got more resources to respond to this. Let's uh, let's do this. Flame these racks here. Oh, goodness. Also a five of pinvuln. Nine shots. All right. About only fours, <laughs> so it's going to be better than last time for me. Um, it will be only four wounds. Aha. So five of pinvulns. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it right this time. Three failed, so the first one takes four There's damage no and has no feeling of pain, and the second one has two ones left. Okay, now realistically we pro could probably kill these with Dark Lances, but I don't even think I want to. I think instead I'd rather shoot this Dark Lance I'm actually downtown. I'm going to pull this one first, and I'll wound the Heavy Bolter. We're just going to make that Slith Urgle charge a little bit longer. I don't know if it did. Yeah, it's still nine. Is it even ten? Well, that isn't over your base there. I'm sure it's ten. Okay. All right, uh, Dark Lance at the Dreadnought here. I think, thank you, but I got this from here on out. Yeah. So this um, is his, that Dark Lance? Yep. Hits. Hold on strong. Wounds. Hold on strong, Dreadnought. No, no, no. No. Oh, okay. What's the damage? That's going to be six, goes down to five. Ouch, four wounds left. I don't like that at all. I think. No, there's no angle here. That's all right. Okay. Stay strong, Dreadnought. <laughs> uh, that one's not shooting. This one advanced. Mm -hmm. These shard carbines, or uh, whatever they're called. Yeah, shard carbines. Okay, that one. Uh, they're assault weapons, I believe? They are assault weapons. You could advance and shoot them. How many can see the attack bike? Looks like none. So we'll just uh, we'll waste our time shooting Terminators. All right, wound a Terminator, I dare you. Hitting on fours, because I advanced. Wounded on fours. Wounded on fours. Two wounds from the slits. Two ups. All right, uh, <laughs> could have been a contender. Could have been great. All right. I think we are at the point where I would like to do some charging. Oh we'll boy. We'll start with this raider going to the attack bikes. Honestly, uh, if I had both multi melters, I'd be super tempted, but we're just going to let it happen. Okay. There's an eight. Ouch. This raider is in business. Bonk. Nothing I can do. Bonking me? Bonking you. How dare you, sir? Incubi time. Incubi double ones will. Oh, is that a reroll? It's not with the three. All right, we're gonna go down to four CP for oh the Oh my goodness. Don't you double ones me. Big dice, big numbers, big dice, big numbers. Four, four will is, do. Four is enough. Four will four suffice. Four is enough. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna make it so we're not blocking our Slith party in case they roll right. the Yolo 10. They've got this. 
Big dice. Big dice. You got a diddy yoinky doink doink. Yoinky doinky doink. Got the 10. Yep. Yoinky doinky doink. <laughs> there was no doubt in my mind that Nick was going to make that charge. Yoinky doinky doink. I have played against Nick many times, and when the charge is not rerollable, he's actually more likely to make it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yep. That's not the words I was thinking of, but yep, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Nope. And we're going we're gonna to charge this raider in. Yoinky doinky doink. Because it's within reach. Just going straight over the incubi. Over the incubi, carry. it don't matter. Okay. Does it have to roll? I mean, it did. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that'll do for my turn. Yep. Or for my that. Am I gonna fight last with? It's a great question. You're not. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, no grizzly trophies here. Oh, they all grizzly trophies. They all are. grizzly trophies. This I'm is... fighting last. All right. Let's. In that case, I'm not gonna pretend here. Well, it matters for what my activations. For my okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Then. I would love start. to just get free movement out of this. So let's do it right. Um. We'll do the Incubi first. Alrighty, I like um, it. We'll do Strain 5 on everybody. Oh, okay. actually, Flat 2 is pretty good. Um, we will do we'll do lots of attacks from the Sergeant, and then the uh, two regular dudes will swing normal. Okay. Two regular dudes swing normal. We'll do five hits. Not bad. And this is almost five. certainly the end. Uh, that's one that's, guy dead, one with a wound left, and then, and then three, I owe you six three ups. sixes. Yep. Good talk. He said three incubi don't necessarily kill. In a way, if I had three left, there it was not necessarily. So they will not make it to the objective, but that is a okay with me. There's a there's a slith party. It looks like is that a whole party full of slith that I'm seeing? That is. That's a whole party full of slith. No kidding. A whole party full of slith. This, whole party full of slith. This raider is gonna sneak on in right here. Ouch. Be kind of hard to charge through the wall. Yeah. Raiders have to go the hard way. That's true. It's gonna be pretty annoying. I will not deny it. Slith and ghouls coming in. Oh my goodness, Sliths and Urgles. This this is one, this is a little bit too much party for me. It's, no, there's no such thing. It's, it's a little party. too much Slith and Urgle party. And we'll stand on the objective, of course. Yep. With, uh, Can't fight that. Oh boy. I'm getting hit on all fronts here, folks. We are going to have to do what we can to kill many Dark Eldar. So, end of my turn two. Uh, this guy owes me, well, actually, we'll be closer to get within three of him. Some grizzly trophy action with six inches. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I we'll do additional minus two leadership. All right. So then I could fail this. Um, I'm not next to my banner, so a three is definitely fine. He lost two friends. He's leadership eight, eight down, to down, six, to six. down to six, down to four. Why am I down to four? Why, why am I minus four? I mean, your leadership eight. Yeah. I killed two models. Of, you have six off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you are fine. Yep. Good on a three. Um, I will get four points for praying or hurting the prey since John's not on that half the table. Yep. It yeah, would have yeah. been six, but that guy survived. Go attack by go. And, I, oh, this raider gets to activate. Frankly, I'm assuming that uh, Nick is going to max hurt the prey. Not in the <laughs> mood for it, but I think it's happening. I enjoy that. Yep. All right, Mr. Lennon, it'll be uh, your turn. Oh, boy. You'll get a five on primary this time. Nick's going to um, get his priority target again. Go up to six command points. That. Uh, I'm staying in Tactical Doctrine. Now, I do want to just take some looks here. What can see what? I think I need to orient my firepower this way and just kind of do what I can. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we're going to do what we can. We'll do what we can. So right now, if this Dreadnought does not move, it looks like he's only seeing the uh, Incubi. I like that. But if he moves, he can definitely see a raider, a slith party, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm in tactical doctrine. He will put this guy into dev doctrine. Mm -hmm. um, then we will um, chapter master the same dreadnought. So this guy's chapter master dev doctrine. Mm -hmm. And I think I. So they've got they've five up in vuln. The incubi are six up in vuln. Yep. Okay. I could spend one command point here to put one of these three Talon Masters into Dev Doctrine, and I think that's likely. We'll go ahead and put this guy into Dev Doctrine. Okay. So one Talon Master and the Dreadnought is in Dev Doctrine, Chapter Masters here. I think at this point that these Terminators can just shoot at a single Raider, and they'll probably end up charging the racks. And we'll just, it might not kill the, the Raider. I'm not planning on killing a Raider, but if it does, it does. He emerges, just sparks behind a wall. I'll just try to do that first, that if he disembarks towards me, I have Talon Masters to light him up as well. Mm -hmm. But then I really want to put as many shots as possible this way and just see if that's enough. Not planning on it being enough, but you got to try. So these Terminators are going to move three inches. They're actually backing up. Not that I expect this to do much, but um, I'm planning to just charge this Rack Squad to completely remove them. Hopefully, at least, this Terminator Squad will be enough to kill this Rack Unit. You never... You never really know with racks when they're actually going to choose not to die. 
But we are all in the forest here, so I can shoot at this guy unimpeded. What are your plans for domination? My plans for domination are to push onto this one and kill the Slith and Urgle party. Very simple. Slith and Urgle party, this, there's, there's so much stuff to kill. I may need to send the, uh, the obsec over here, uh, the Rites of War guy, mm -hmm. which is an unfortunate thing, because I don't really want that guy to, to go over there and die. But I need my domination points. Now, Nick, what exactly is over here? One warrior. One warrior, you say? One warrior. Hmm. Don't have a good answer to that right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll concede that one. Mm -hmm. Best I could do is like a double move an apothecary back there and just hope he gets ignored for a turn. Which I don't even hate, actually. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, so I definitely need this dreadnought to walk over and see people. So he's going to step to this point where he can see... Do I even want to kill the raider, or do I just want to kill everything on the ground? So listen to our goals. Yeah, I think we're going to step up, <laughs> try to pop one raider. What is in each of these raiders? This one is 10 witches and the fight last archon. And this one this is, is five like incubi, that. five racks, and the succubus. So even if I put this dreadnought up all the way, I'm not seeing that raider. Mm -hmm. So we're not even going to bother. So we'll just stay back a little further and just see one raider. Okay. And of course, it'll also see the Slith Urgle party and the Incubi squad. Uh, no healing, unfortunately, for this Dreadnought. That is not uh, not in the cards. Oh boy, this is, uh, you're putting me in a pickle here, Nick. Oh, John, did you take into um, account last round that the Dreadnought is minus one damage? Yes, yes. Uh, he did six damage to me and it went down to five. Okay. Those, uh, those pesky Dark Lances, they are, they're good for something. I don't know what it is, but they're good for something. That's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. Ooh. Honestly, do you mind if I just don't even move my Terminators? Yeah, go right They're on. just going to move. Like, I'm, I'm charging anyway. The three-inch movement in this forest doesn't matter at all. Give yeah, yourself that plus one to hit. Yeah, I'll take that plus one to hit and not even move. Still back up three inches. I'll be minus one for the forest. We'll be back to threes. Yeah, but yeah, better than fours. Yeah. And uh, who's getting Chapter Master this turn? Chapter Master was on that Contemptor Dreadnought. Nice. It's going to hurt. Hopefully. Hopefully not. Ho you know. Hopefully. Ezreal's just going to slide along here at the six-inch spot. Fortunately, Nick is pressing me from all angles here. That is the kind of pressure that I'm just not in love with. But I think I need to just try to do enough on this flank because uh, I can't afford to let him hit me from two sides with a full strength army if I just cower here. Perhaps. I need to do as much damage as possible. I'm hurting the prey. Hmm, I don't like that. So we'll use the charge move to get from the Terminators to get someone within range of the Apothecary. Mm -hmm. But we are going to just have this attack bike zip along here. And then um, when I uh, res a guy, because I'll be within three inches here, then uh, I'll have a second multi melta here ready to pop shots in. And I'll make sure that I've got two multi meltas in range of this raider. Yeah. And uh, as well, we'll, uh, we'll advance Asriel actually to make sure that I've got enough movement. Uh, one inch should be enough, because he was here. Yeah, it's easy. So he'll just stop right at the six inch spot of that biker. Mm -hmm. Now these three talent masters. Got to tell you, the last thing I want to do is push them forward into this uh, party, as you call it. <laughs> but the alternative is sitting here and dying. And uh, boy, is Nick giving me hard choices right now. I'm not doing anything. But you're doing enough. I'm just chilling. You're doing enough. I'm, I'm going to spend all my CP moving in circles <clears throat> around you. So this guy is in Dev Doctrine, so he needs <laughs> to uh, move 19 inches. And you know what? Domination, my dear boy. Domination. He's oh. dead. Oh. He is so dead. Dead bye, my friend. Is, but you know what? He's going to do some work first. We're going to kill as much as we can here. I mean, I hear you. I, I think that's the only thing left to me there. So the other thing I could do, actually, I could pull him back and just heal a bike onto that objective. I think that's, that's just safer. No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to push aggressive. Like, I'm getting charged no matter what. That's true. So, like, we are actually just pushing in. Okay. Because this way I will charge you. Interesting. This is this is not what I thought was going to happen. I, I I just I feel like I've seen Dark Elder enough. If I stand in my corner, don't shoot Nick and get charged, the game's over. Oh, I was planning on the game ending that way. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been enough. I, I will not deny it. Um, so we'll have uh, this command squad just step out here. Um, Ezekiel will um just move six. Mm -hmm. Like such. Yep. And we are good to go. So we're going to cast some spells. Actually, at the end of the movement phase, we'll heal up a single attack bike. There he is. Get, this, get these multi melters back in action, folks. Yeah, I will take it. Alrighty. 
Not much else to be done there other than try. Who's doing what? So we will start off with uh, things that we know are happening. Should I keep as real? Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to put every Terminator into that Raider. All right. I'm not going to spend any CP here. That's fine. I hit on nice. threes, rerolling ones. Yep. Not, not really planning on it dying here, but if it happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. I don't have reroll ones to wound, though. Right. So one, two, three, four, and five. I will just do four twice. These are the uh, the Strumbolters. Okay. Just because I got that many dice in hands, and I'm not ignoring cover, because yep. that does matter. <laughs> um, and wounding on fives here. Yep. And we're still in tactical. One, two, three, four, five. I am still in tactical. Five wounds so far. We'll do this whole volley again. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't mind killing an extra boat here, but I'm not really planning or expecting on it. I'm just doing this first so that Nick has to keep the rest of my guns in mind, because I have a Dreadnought and some Talmasters here that can see down this aisle. Yep. If he disembarks, I want him behind the wall just to force the issue. So one, two, that's six. So four. 11 so far. 11 so far. Those are all AP1. And then there are two of the heavy weapons. Okay. So these are the Reaper auto cannons. Rolling ones. Very nice on the rerolls. Okay. And then uh, wounding on threes. Threes, no rerolls. Is three more AP1. So 14 total wounds. And I think we're going to fire a grenade harness at you. What? D6 shots from the Terminator what? Sergeant. It's what one. It's on the fat. Wounds on a five. No, it's so close. Sorry, Ooh, go ahead. That was just made up. That was five points. We are going to survive with uh, three wounds left. Yeah, okay. All Better right. than I was expecting. I will take. Oh, I didn't even do my psychic phase too much. Of it's not going to change that at all. Yeah. I'm just going to have Azriel do his darndest, his absolute darndest, to um, uh, make I mean, them fight last. Azriel's going to make them fight last? Sorry, Ezekiel's going to make this Slith and Urgle party fight last. Yeah, he's going to try. It'll pass on an eight, goes okay. to nine, and then he will uh, just, if I smite a rack, I might actually make that charge failable, which would suck. We're going to just take away the Rob sec. Okay. Yes, we will. Okay. That <laughs> rack unit takes one mortal wound and is Oh, out no. Thank you. Get that one rack out of there. Yeah. Ah, he's pulling a liquefier. I just pulled as I a planned. liquefier, but now the charge is failable, I guess. It is failable, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are uh, back to the shooting. Honestly, probably not even going to try to finish off that boat. It's annoying that it's alive, but the contents are going to get out and come charge me in a second anyway, and I don't want to affect the disembarks at this point because mm -hmm. you get emergency and get closer. Oh, so yes. we're going to start off with. The fun. The fun. The fun is this Contemptor Dreadnought putting every single shot into this guy, this no, boat. Not that fun. It's fun, I promise. Well, if you say so. So eight. Now I could oh, six, uh, seven, lightning seven, fast here, but I think this is uh, your, your chapter master? This one is chapter master. I think I'm done either way. So. Okay. Let's roll it up. Well, maybe I wasn't. Ooh. Well, it comes down to these rerolls here. Those rerolls will hopefully help. There were two threes in the first batch. No threes in the second. I don't think Chapter Master or no, Lightning Fast would save me. So it's going to come down. still in have Doctrine, which is a beautiful thing. Oh, reroll those ones, buddy. Oh, those ones. Yeah, I'm, I am done, though. Ooh, maybe not. Two mortal wounds and that many five ups. I just got to only fail three of these. Failed much more than three of those. All right. That's um, a boat down. If do you I exploded, I wouldn't even be mad. Explode? No, I think here is where I emergency and just use the cover here to. To keep the incubi and yep. the succubus, <clears throat> well, the succubus probably can get out aggressively here, but mm -hmm. we'll emergency and uh, see what that does for us. But we're probably going to just pull racks as they need to die. So four models are going to die. Hey, emergency didn't cost me anything but the kind point. All right, nicely done. There's a lot left here, but I've got a lot of shooting. I'm going to try to pop this boat as well and just put some shots in. So we're actually going to keep two racks alive and pull one incubi. Okay. So, so you've got both liquefiers? I want both liquefiers. Absolutely. Use the incubi that are shorter than this because that's how that's <laughs> supposed to be. All right, so, so while that happens, I've got many more guns to consider. Mm -hmm. What I think is going to happen here is this uh, attack bike squad is going to put just their multi melters into this raider, and then they're going to put their bolters into the three man incubi right there. Okay, so there's a succubus out there hiding. Succubus is going to go out here and hide. She's, she is chill. She's going to hang out by the It's going to take me a lot of effort to shoot into her. And then two racks, get a nice six inch disembark. Mm -hmm. uh, realistically, their flamers are pretty valuable, so we'll just put them back here nice and safe as well. Okay. Okay. That'll be it for me. All right. And I'm actually kind of happy I know that now because now this raider won't emergency disembark. Mm -hmm. So these witches are almost certainly going to have to end up in line of sight if I can pop it here. Right. 
So we're gonna start this attack bike squad. Multi melt is here, bolt guns there. Uh -huh. so these are the uh, multi melts hitting on threes, re rolling ones. You wanna do anything yet? Um, I'm thinking if I wanna walk any faster. There's no re rolls for these attack bikes? No re roll, re -roll ones. Re roll ones. Yep. Um, because I got just as real on the top. Might kill me, they may not. If it takes a Talon Master, then I will go down. Um, mm -hmm. Because you'll shoot the one that does ignore modifier, so you can just bring it. Okay. And I hope I just pass by as you real bad. Four hits, and not bad. Threes are rolling ones. That is four invulns. I invulns. do not want. So oh, he failed. What were you saying? One what were you saying, Mr. John? Spike fives, that was the plan. No. Spike fives was the plan. All right, five, five damage. damage whatever. Oh goodness! Whatever, eat up a towel, master for me. Oh <laughs> my goodness! It might even take two, which would make me cry. <laughs> Don't tell me things like that. All right, bolt guns into those incubi. No, rerolling ones. Okay, wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. Rerolling ones. That is seven AP one on the incubi. Thank you. Uh, they are going down. Four wounds. Four That's wounds. enough. Just incubi enough. squad down. All right. Already starting to remove threats here. We're gonna put this entire Talon Master into this uh, this boat, and this is not the one in Dev Doctrine. Okay. Is which... this one ignoring modifiers or no? It is not. Um, does the one in Dev Doctrine ignore modifiers? Yes. Okay. Uh, I will just uh, allow this to happen. Okay. Here's Abby Volter. Mm -hmm. Good hits. We're on fives. No rerolls because I'm a character, so just one invul here. One invul down to three. It's gonna come down the wire. All right, assault cannons. I'm feeling it. Oh, I'm feeling it. You on twos? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna lightning fast. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hold on. <laughs> Six twos to hit. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man. Uh, Those eight, that many invulns. Seven, seven invulns. Seven invulns probably gets me, but no, it gets me. All right, raider down. Do I explode? Yes. Oh, okay. you know what? Not even mad. My slits are gonna take two, and uh, take two. All right. I'll put it on this. When you, is that a six inch aura or a three inch aura? base is going to take two. That's not great. Um, uh -huh. Six inch aura. Six inch aura? So nobody's over there. It will be your apothecary and two of the Talon Masters. Ouch. Apothecary is three. Kill the pain. Mm hmm. It's two. Okay. Your attack bikes is three. Kill the pain. It's three. three. Your Talon Master here with big old heavy bolters is two. All right. He's down to six. And your town master here with a book is two. All right, down to six. And I have 11 people inside. 11, you say? So where are they going to go? Do you have to disembark before you roll it? We're going to put them Just... uh, as much can go behind the wall as possible, and then we'll put them in there. Okay. And then we will shoot town masters at them. <laughs> uh, not a single one died. Not a single? So what is this? This is 10 witches. 10 witches and an archon. And an archon. All right. All right, we're going to do what we can here. So... However many can on this side of the wall, which will be not too many, basically a rank for a couple, probably like three girls. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> all that is shot, so that's that is correct. Scary. That is correct. And then here, she's gonna just put on the rocks and not really balance. That's okay. Must kill witches. Must kill witches. Four, five, six, seven. Archon is good right there. Eight, nine. They're just gonna go to the raider, but right there. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no! These the sailors need magnets so bad. And this witch will go here. All right. Well, I still have two Talon Masters to shoot. Uh huh. Doesn't feel the worst. So I think, Nick, you uh, these witches they have a six up in armor, right? Six up armor. And a five up in cover. And if you spent that command point, they'd have a four up in cover. That's right. So I could just shoot this one who just hits on twos all the time and ignores uh, uh, cover. Mm -hmm. And he would have a good shot of doing work on these witches. Yeah. Hitting on twos, one on twos, the assault cannon, and then also uh, the heavy bolters. Might be enough to wipe them, might leave one left, which I think is fine because they're not fearless yet. And the other one could just shoot the court. I think that's what we're going to do. This guy, he ignores negatives to hit. He ignores cover. Okay. And he's in dev doctrine. Okay. <laughs> he's going on this witch unit. Okay. Where's the Archon? He is right there. All right. Well, he's not getting shot. No. So, okay. <laughs> So here we go. This is a heavy bolter. Mm -hmm. Twos and threes. Let's get it done. That is four invulns on the witches. I'll just take sixes. Three, three down. Room. And then there's an assault cannon. Okay. Bada, 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 bada. How much of the Dark Elder can we kill here? Not a bit. Eight. Twelve. Let's go. Twos again. Nine hits. Mm -hmm. 
Nine invulns on the seven remaining witches. Easy. Not easy. Oh, which is good. Down they go. Down well, they go. I knew this turn was going to hurt, but hopefully I will have stuff left to. to yeah, end. there was no question in my mind that uh, I, I had to go forward through the pain. I wasn't going to be able to hide from it. Well, we do have charges because, uh, oh no, there's a whole talent there's master. A whole talent whole master. Whole talent master. Let's, let's, just let the Nurgle party. Let's, let's get this done, buddy. <laughs> All right. All right, so this is the heavy bolter. Someone's wounded, right? Yep. One Nurgle. Yeah, let's do the assault cannon first. Mm -hmm. Do you want to lighten fastest? Yeah, uh, I guess. Well, if I go up to four CP, then I could do a lot of cool stuff, like spend lots of strats. Um, this one doesn't ignore penalties. Nope. He hits on twos, but he would hit on threes if... No, you're fine. This is, this is just black hole of damage here. So we'll just... That's what it. Nick thinks until I start cracking down. three twos. Yeah, there's some ones for me. There you go. So that's just damage one in bones. Nice and simple. Fives. Ooh. Oh, a good start. And fives. Better fuel my pains. One model is dying. And that'll uh, put a wound on someone. Like Another Urgle, you say? Another Urgle. Another Urgle? All right. Well, we're just going to put the Heavy Bolter in as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll put it on the Slick. Not that it ah, I'm a Slick. Yep. <laughs> Five more invulns. These are two damage. Five Get me some boys. Oh, failed four of them. So Slit's gonna take two female pains and go down. Down he goes. And Urgul is gonna take four female pains and go, go down. down. And we'll do another Urgul. Takes a wound. Takes a wound. Okay. So that's the Urgul taking the wound there. Yep. All righty. Dare I charge them? Yeah, you charge. So they've lost three models. Their leadership seven. Yep. I wouldn't mind killing another. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm getting charged by them one way or another. If I charge in, I at least get a little bit of extra damage. I doubt Nick's going to interrupt. I think I'm just going to charge him. Well, they have fighting last, so I probably won't. They are fighting last as well. Yeah, you won't interrupt. Ha. <laughs> All right, well, honestly, I might as well. I think I should go for as much damage as possible. But we're going to start with the Terminators in case I snake eye this. Okay. Um, he tried. I tried, but two inches is enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Forrest. And luckily, I took away their obsec, so I'm much less concerned now with killing them. And much more concerned with actually getting places. Yep, that sounds right. <laughs> okay. But I'm still going to try to kill them. You know, it's just a, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a point of so pride. It's just a good habit to be in. Just a good habit to be in. Yeah, killing it's, people. It's uh, the, the quality advice that we give in the worm: kill more than less if you have the choice. We also give like actual quality. We, we advice. do give good advice too. <laughs> yeah, we we give lots of advice. All right. Um, so I think this guy's definitely not going to swing. He, I guess I could. I can have uh, one, two, three, four, I think five will be able to swing if he backs up a little bit to get him within half an inch when he piles in. Yeah, so we'll just do that, and then uh, we'll do some charges over here. Um, so this is, dun dun dun, what does that Archon have? Uh, that Archon is the Fight Last Archon. So what, what is it like, what? Um, uh, he has a Power Sword and uh, five attacks, and he makes you Fight Last. Yeah, screw that guy, I'll pile into him. Mm -hmm. We're gonna charge mm -hmm. the attack bikes in this left Nurgle. Attack bikes be going in. Yeah, why not, right? You just want more attacks on this Lith and Hurgle party. And the Archon? Or no, 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 no. I'm just, my plan is to pile into him. Okay. Uh, right now I can heroic you. Just no problem. This doesn't really change anything. It would make me fight last. So I'll, I'll just be three inches away and I'll just do pile and consolidate stuff to get there. Okay. Uh, and one of them is wounded, which we should not forget. I really just want to tag the Archon in combat so he doesn't go charging something else. Okay. And he's in combat with an attack bike, so I don't care about that. One Talon Master going in. Mm hmm. Box cars. Wherever that thing wants. Let's go right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's a wounded Urgle. And then the other, this Talmaster will charge in. Okay. Talmasters don't have much in combat, but they have a power sword. Four is probably not it. There you go. I power don't sword. care enough to reroll that, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it's still Talmaster. It's still Talmaster. It's just a Talmaster. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to kill an extra Urgle here, make that morale check a little less fun for Nick. Mm -hmm. But I'm not expecting anything great here. This is just cute shots. And this is the OPSEC giving one? Yep. Okay. This Talmaster will go ahead and charge as well. Okay. He is not doing it. <laughs> he will not. He has no interest in these matters. So I think there's no interrupt over here. We'll just start with the Terminators. Yep. Not that I'm planning on them interrupting, but hey, uh, now that I've moved, I'm not um, plus one to hit because um, I charged. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just uh, pile in down there so that I have five Terminators swinging at you with Lightning Claws. And they'll just shuffle around here. Yep. That sounds right. Yeah. Magnetized arms are falling off, and I'm sad about it. Not the arm magnets. The magnets, magnetized arms. So we've got 20 attacks. Sergeant is up there, 21. Mm -hmm. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones, because I've got Azrael nearby. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, and a sergeant. Threes, rerolling one. 
just want to kill four racks. Just four racks. I'm not asking for much, folks. He's asking for a lot. I just four racks. <laughs> Don't even need to kill five. Just four. Four is re-roll into wound. Mm -hmm. Get these racks out of here. All right. It's probably the racks, but you never know. I got six up, five ups. These are one damage each. See, John's rolling bad. I could channel my inner Siegs. Let me channel my inner Siegs. No. Six up invuls. Oh, good start, good start. Five up, feel no pains. What Give do you think? power of the Omnissiah. No. no, five die. <laughs> okay, that's enough, that's enough. It's enough for me. Okay, okay, it'll, it'll work. Yep. And um, uh, closest over here will be the... Some will move towards the Raider, I imagine. Yeah, some, some are probably holding there. still. Yeah. They're just backing up to put them uh, all within uh, three inches of these characters. Yeah, of course. That's really what we're going for there. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's it for me. So over here, over here. attack bike hype. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think hmm, they're fighting last. They're slith are strength four or uh, five? Five on the sliths and four on the articles. So they have decent odds between the Archon um, that of killing the attack bikes anyway. So I think I may just uh sit in front here. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna engage the Archon. Sure. I think I think you just have two good odds of uh, killing me anyway. Yeah. But we're just gonna put the uh, I haven't uh, whatever it's called. I have not uh, consolidated these yet, and I haven't based you, so I might consolidate them if these somehow roll hot. Hey, three hits. Three hits. No rerolls there. As too far away. We'll reroll that one though. That is two. two. Right I now, can, I can get the slip. Slip this one. I'll take my five. dash. And I'll roll five. Two fives. Okay. All right. Well, so you've gone to consolidate the archon. Oh uh, no, I'll just oh, base okay. a couple yeah. guys. Not the Archon, yep. Nope. And okay. then um, this Tile Master is just going to go. He's three attack space, Shock Salt is four. Let's, pretty sure it's on threes. Mm -hmm. Try and kill a single Urgle. Three wounds. Three wounds. Give me this five. Is not even Mastercraft. Let me get some. No, one. the dice. Two three dice. Fives. Oh, one wound. Wounded an Urgle. Didn't even kill a model. All right. And would you like to consolidate anywhere? Um, No, I don't think so. All right. Let's, uh, let's. Dogpile the attack bikes. How dare you? Doink, do doink, do doink. Um, so three slits and an ergle into the attack mm -hmm. bikes. Here are the slits. I'm gonna fix um, my magnet arms while you do that. Yep. Hidden on twos. They have four attacks each or three. It's been a uh, slith are three attacks, ergles are four. I think that's right. So I'm just gonna mm -hmm. double check because this is a strange little unit. You know what? It's always uh, it's safer to double check. Four things. different stat lines. So I'm just putting arms on this unit. Uh, they do reroll once for my archon. You Beautiful. sure do. They also had a black heart reroll if you hadn't already hit. Ah, uh, strength. Uh... John Tallmaster has two up too. Oh, he does. One extra hit. That's another save on the ergle party. No. Down no! he goes. We kill the slith. Oh. We killed a slith. This Thank you, chat. Everything. I have to re-roll this. Thank oh you, God. chat. Well, everything hits, so it's just all hits. Okay. It hits. Um, these are strength five. I need They're, fours. These are the Urgles, sir. These are the sliths. How is two guys eight attacks? I rolled. See, you, you threw me off. <laughs> that's, that's why I wanted to re-roll everything. Thank you, chat. All right, we got four AP2s <laughs> into the bikes. Oh, boy, bikes. We'll kill, kill that bike one and two more. the next. <laughs> one Urgle into the bikes. Yeah. Four hits, strength three, strength four, four fives. One AP one. Go bike, go. The bike will live no matter what. Oh. Make it on the warp fire. And on one Urgle into the Talon Master. Black heart or, or Archon, whatever. One of the two. <laughs> um, one AP one on the Talon Master. All right, this guy will make it on a warp fire. What a, what a champion of the people. All right, well, not mad about that. Go ahead and take a morale check on this Slith and Urgle party. I have lost four. I'm leadership seven. Let's roll a one, two, or a three. I was a four up. Let's oh, roll a three! We needed one more. That black That's heart. Blackheart making them plus one leadership there. Really clutch, really solid. Beautiful. All right, All right. well, I took a good shot here. I, I have killed a lot of Nick's army. I do feel like I'm a little exposed to counterpunch, but you know what? We'll take what we can get. All right. Um, I've gotten... Another three on priority target, another three on domination. I'm at nine on both of those. I don't feel bad about that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep Nick to another 10 on primary, which... At least two, three, four... I've gotten in... The, I mean, at least six. I think you got four more than the rank points of that turn to put you at eight. All right, you know what? I will take that. It's a solid score. And I am going to gain a command point up to four, okay. gain two points on banners for back there, and a 10 on primary. A 10 on... A 10 on primary? 10 on primary. I don't like that. I like that. <clears throat> I'm not a fan. Alrighty. How are you feeling so far, Nick? This is probably not the game that either of us were expecting. 
I mean, I'm trying to pretty defensive when I probably don't have to, but mm -hmm. it's working for me. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm in a bad shape here. I'm I'm happy about the amount of stuff I've killed. So are there three Terminators on this objective? Uh, three looks right. Okay, so that's... It's very contestable still. Very contestable. Um, over here, if I was to get and keep... I think I want to... Oh, this raider's like limping. Um, it probably just jumps into the side of the wall, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think it's a three wound there. raider. What, we, what is the move on a three wound raider? I believe it's six, but it, yeah, six doesn't sound unlikely. Just check it for yeah, me. Yeah, look it up for you. Like, Let's think about how we want to stage this combat here. The uh, that is a six inch move. A super succubus can basically just pick what she wants to do this turn. You do have choices of what you would like to kill. Yes. I am tempted to send Drazar back here this turn. It's a little bit easier because now I can get on this side of the wall, mm -hmm. and advance, and, and hit the charge. He would knock that out, keep John to a zero on primary if I can pull it off. It is possible. Because they're not, they are OPSEC. They're not. They're not OPSEC. So they're I can just not. move the Raider onto it and be done with it. Mm-hmm. No you just need to get there. a model there to contest it. Uh, and that would let me potentially flame this Dreadnought away. You wouldn't dare. I would dare. You would not. Are these heroic? No. Okay. The yeah. characters are the only heroic in my army. There's so I could spend... I could spend one CP, fall back to Sliths, and still charge. still charge. They could probably go eat somebody for breakfast. That's the one left. The utter disrespect that these Dark Elder show for lesser races, I don't like it. It's it's pure disrespect. Any full bliss skill Overwatch or anything weird like that going on? This one. Yep. That's important. Yep. That uh, important. You could, of course, ignore that if you yeah, chose yeah, to yeah. spend a command point, right. which I will not force upon you. But yeah, that one does Overwatch a little harder than the rest. Okay. Alternatively, I can just charge it through this side of the wall, and it is a six-inch charge through the wall. Yep. Um, or I Rackify it off the table. Which Let's roll their advance roll. Rax. Rax. Rax coming in hot. And my objective all of a sudden. No. I don't want that to be your objective. That was my objective. Thank you, bye. Nine inches. Yep, so there's, there is stuff coming in my way, isn't there? We're going to end... This. That's not true. Yes, it is. This is not true. <laughs> We're going to fall back with the Slith party and still charge. No. Uh, they move eight. I think we'll just go deep inside you. No. Deep inside no. you. No. Don't do that. With Virgils. All inside. right. None of them are wounded now. <laughs> uh, you got to do the sound effect, Nick. What's the oh. sound effect? You doink. You doink. Don't doink. Don't doink. Don't doink. There you go. That's the Slith and Urgle party I know and love. Doink. Doink. Um. She really wants to kill something and then still be safe on the side of the wall. Well, that she does have a giant consolidate to help with that matter. She will, uh, she'll advance. No. Ten. No. Right, right. She might kill both of these. No. Um, <clears throat> well, we'll put a pin in killing both of those. No. But, uh, that's definitely on the table. Um, you should just walk, I suppose. Ah, that arcana. He's got to fight last. It's not really too helpful here unless I try to fight these Terminators. But these Terminators aren't doing anything. Yeah, I'm just trying to hold on to that center. Let's let's see what Drazar's full distance is. Ooh. So Drazar, Drazar disembarking Drazar. on this side of the wall? Theoretically, Drazar can disembark right there. Okay. And then to the Terminators, I am 16 away. Okay. So I move 7. So it's you need a 9 to get 9 on inches three between dice. an advance and, two, and a charge. And if I screw it up... Uh, if you roll a one on the advance, you can always run back away from me. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll his advance roll right there. All right, give me that one. He doesn't have enhanced either sales, but he'll roll eh, three. three. is not bad. So now so it's uh, he's moving ten, charge. so uh, now be a five inch charge, right? Because I'm within sixteen. That's sixteen well, from my base. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you were less than, <laughs> less than sixteen. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were over sixteen. No, no, no. Okay. So ten inches. So I will go for the nice. Yeah. Five. So now it's a five inch charge. Mm -hmm. That looks good to me. Um. Da -da 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 -da. So realistically, someone needs to, worst case scenario, she needs to ignore Overwatch and reroll wounds, and that'll be both the Talon Masters done. Um, <laughs> I don't want yeah. that to be true. Uh, <laughs> Please, no. Oh, no. Over here, we got a nice, healthy Raider. Um, what I think is just going to keep pouring OPSEC onto your problems. Ugh. That's, there's a lot of stuff coming my way, folks. I'm not a big fan of this. I uh, don't have much for him to shoot with those racks, so let me think about that. Although the racks just getting on the objectives and being problems later is not the worst thing. Oop. Oh, these these bases, these models. I'm gonna put him there. 
And I need to uh, magnetize these before I Nick break them Nick, Nick needs to magnetize those. Um, what is coming out to play? I think just witches. God, I thought that there was so little and there's still so much. There's always so there's much. There's always so much from the Dark Eldar. Those witches are enough to outnumber me on that objective to my great dismay. Yeah, we're great, just... Great, great dismay. We're going to pay tribute to the Dark Angel Gods here. Yep. You're going to deny me five points on primary and you're going to get Stormbolthered somewhere and, and back. So are you um, putting all five models on there? All five on there. All five on there, just in case there's some kind of tricks I could pull. Yep. Which, you know what? I'm, I'm known is. to try. They're I'm known to try. Um, Nick doesn't even know what level tricks I'm planning on. I don't trust it. You shouldn't. <laughs> there's no reason you should. I think this raider is, is good, just chilling right here. Right Pushing now. up with no fear no in the world. No fear. No fear. All right. No fear, kind of a base. Kind of a base? Kind of a base. Well, if I... Alternatively, I enhanced Aether Sails at 22 right there, and then I eat the Overwatch mm -hmm. with the Slits. I'll do that. Was that enough for the, um... 22 is right up against the wall. Okay, so, so that was enough for the whole thing to clear. Oh my god, this base. So 22... Yeah. Room to spare. Okay. Sounds good. So we'll just do that, and this way I can and put insurance on killing the Dreadnought there with the, uh... Excuse you. With the racks. This Dreadnought is just fine. It will find a way to live. No, no doubt in my mind. I don't, don't want that to be true. So we're gonna say that it's not. No, it's going to be fine. Um. Okay. Then there's Rex in that one. Mm -hmm. so this listener goes over here. Just gonna meander. Meandering, you say? Meander. Getting so ready to potentially charge. Small Slithergal party over there. Small casual Slithergal party. Small casual Slithergals. Um. This one. I think this one is just going to uh, fly six straight forward and uh, make it so if I get blown up, I can disembark on this side of the wall or onto that objective and uh, be in better striking distance. Right, and there's strings. five incubi in there. Five incubi and an archon. And an archon. And the combat archon. A combat arc. I don't want a combat archon. Are you kidding me? I think we are. We are ready to roll, <clears throat> Mr. Oh John. boy! All right, lay it on me, Nick. What are you thinking here? Let's start off with the random dark lance. At this dreadnought. All right, and it's is it uh, middle or bottom tier? A not three a doesn't three, hit. but I got a free reroll and a four might. Well, you are uh, shooting through a forest. And a four will not. All right, it lives. Um, Only two raiders left, and I'm gonna try to kill them both in my turn. We'll see what I if I have enough left to do it. We'll do some rackifiers at the dreadnought. Oh boy. All right, that time you rolled box cars, I yeah, seven right, seven's shots. Fine. Seven's fine. No complaints mm -hmm. about seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you want to overheat these? Uh, yeah, we'll pass a wound. I mean, if you roll a one to hit, though. That's true. Five invuls for this dreadnought. Oh, it's gonna be close. I... He's not. Oh my god! I just needed the dreadnought. I am so happy that didn't happen. Oh. He's done. Oh, oh the raquifiers. Why? Beautiful, beautiful why are they so good? Oh, why does nothing survive? They, that's that's truth, John. That is <laughs> the truth. That's the average was that I had. Dreadnought left. Where did the average? I wanted a dreadnought wanted left. A dreadnought. I, I like playing with toys, Nick. Why do you take away my toys? I know. Let's fire a phantasma grenade launcher. What? At uh, these two terminators. What are you? Don't disrespect me. Three shots. Oh my god. Two hits. What oh, a black heart that hit. Oh yeah, thank you. Three leadership hits. Well, all right. Again, there's a banner nearby. No. No. Good, good effort. A lot of nines. Okay. That's well, okay. Yeah, they are. has got that. Okay. Um. Okay. The slits will shoot. They fell back. Yep, yeah, they won't. <laughs> um, we got some more Raquifiers. Oh my god. I don't want to let this attack bike live. Yeah, um, I would. I was kind of hoping you'd just leave it there, if I'm being honest. I think I have to put the Raquifiers in the attack bike. There. You do have other things to charge that Talonmaster. Not that I want you to. Five shots there, I need fours. Give me three uh, saves on the Five up in Vulns. Yep. Need to make three of them, which is not, not what happened. Attack that attack is the last now. attack bike off the table. They fought valiantly. They blew up raiders. Well, yeah. Don't know what else I can ask for from them. They they gave it a good old good old try. She advanced. It's true. She advanced. That raider shot and missed. I think we're at the point where we're being good. So let's start with charging. We'll do Drazar into the two terminators here. Looking All for right, so you five. need a five, and I'm looking for a four. That's a, a four. four! That's the CP. And ooh. Then, ooh, but then the witch suck it. Kill both these town masters. Drazar's gonna hang out in the open. Drazar can hang out in the open. <sighs> Is that okay? Is it okay? Is that okay? Yeah, it it's okay. It's okay. Drazar, give me that five. Drazar's <laughs> Yes. Oh my 
God. That is the swing that John Lennon needed. All what right. is up? Let's, let's solve these problems. Two racks going into the town. Master of Fullbus Skill Overwatch, if you want to. It's just two racks. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I want to save the Overwatch for other options. Because if he just charges a succubus in, I will Overwatch because she has three wounds left. If I kill her, it's amazing. Thank you by going in. Four is Four is enough. Four is enough. Trying to fail these charges, apparently. Um, all right. Uh, we'll base you with one of them, for whatever that's worth. Uh, yeah. We'll base you with one of the racks. What the, a rack? Let them swivel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I think this means the apothecary is going to survive, and I'm mm. just really sad about that. So slits are going to go into both of the talent masters. All right. Well, I'm not going to overwatch here because it'll only be sixes. Uh, killing one slit is not upside, and also it's not likely either. Right. A succubus, I'll take a risk, but mm -hmm. eh, slit and her. It'll just have to let it happen. It's plenty. Eight is good. No arguments there. I am Bonk. definitely not feeling great Beast. about how many talent masters I'm going to have left at the end of this Bonk. turn. But I also still think that my last turn I did the right thing, because darn it, I had to try. Uh, <coughs> and you're just going to try to leave it so that that succubus could potentially charge both? Uh, I think she's going to go for one. Go for one? All right. I like that. I like that. She can't split attacks and use her tricks, because that's rules. So she's going to go into the healthy <gasps> I didn't one. didn't even know that. That's true. So she'll just do that. All right. And the Archon will go into this one. <clears throat> this is the Power Sword Archon, right? That is the Power Sword. Right, well, that, that guy will fight last. Which one has an invul in combat? No. No one? No one. Okay, no one has an invul in combat. Excellent. All right. Yep. Uh, you're fucking last, too. <laughs> um, there's no point in charging you here because you're contested, so we are all right. Um, let's do some punching. Um, we'll start. No other charges? Those witches don't want to charge the Terminators? No, I'm all right. Ha! Cowardly, I say. We'll start with the Super <coughs> Succubus. She's going to go into the full hell Talon Master. Yep, yep, yep. Um, one CP doesn't get her much for strats. Uh, so I think we're just going to roll it. 14 attacks. 14 attacks. This is on the full health. This is on the full health Talon Master. Oh, buddy. Stay strong, my, my champion. <laughs> Stay strong, buddy. Oh, uh, see if the Incubi make him fight last. Real quick. Oh, sure. Or you can do it after. It won't. We just need to roll it at some point. No, let's go. That's exactly what I needed. Yeah, that's not great. That is an interrupt that is going to happen. I am so ready. Okay, and then uh, no reroll. So moves. just four saves? Four saves at AP1. All right, well, the first part of this is not great, but we failed two, so, so I've got four damage. wounds left, and okay. then do double that. <laughs> so five, 10, 12, 24 attacks. 24 attacks, all right. I need Nick to whiff these hits and wound rolls, or I need to spike my saves. If I have a Talon Master left here, it's amazing. I'm not planning on it, but it would be nice. Not great so far, but hopefully we can make some good wounds, and that'll be the end of it. We got three AP2s, and that's it. Oh, buddy. So you're telling me that John Lennon just you're needs to hit two fives. Two I'm gonna fives? Be real sad. Well, with, I've got five command points left. Uh, yeah, 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 I do. Two oh, fives. a five. All right, so now we have interesting decisions. And you know what? I'm going to give Nick credit here. His agent's effect is why this is a problem. Exactly. It's because cost three CP. I could. Oh, well, I could reroll this. Yeah. But if I do, I cannot then interrupt and move this guy out of combat. Oh, yeah. Which, if I did that, I would actually bump it back here so that I give them rights of war and take that objective back. <sighs> or I would bump it over there, then hop the wall, kill that warrior, get an objective for myself that Nick is not in a position to come contest. Mm -hmm. So now it's a question of which Talon Master do I want alive? I can basically, the problem is that if I reroll this and then fail, I lose two here. Right. And I think we're gonna let him die. All right. See if he explodes. I don't even know if Talon Masters explode, but on a three, they definitely don't. All right. That Talon Master tried really hard. He doesn't have a feel no pain, and he doesn't have not an extra wound. I will take it. One Talon Master down, but I'm also kind of hoping this one's going to be alive there. And the Succubus <clears throat> is just going to meander all the way back here. All the way back there, you say? Mm-hmm. All right, now I need to plan out what I need to do in my turn, because if I interrupt with that Talon Master and bump out of combat, one, that's pretty cool. I, I like that play for me. Mm -hmm. But I need to make sure that in doing so, I'm not messing myself up. Because mm -hmm. um, if I do that, I have one command point that I can spend. Azrael will go ahead and put those Terminators into Tactical Doctrine, mm -hmm. and um, which is nice, just generally useful. Right. Because um, then they can shoot Drazar, who uh, is probably going to evaporate to that. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Drazar's in cover anyway, so he, he's going to get charged. Yeah. The witches will. <laughs> Someone is going to die to that. Right. <laughs> to those uh, the Stormbolters, they will. They will do something. Mm -hmm. Um. That's free. What do I want to spend my command point on? I could use it to shift someone to a different doctrine. I don't know how necessary that actually is. 
Um, I really just want to continue to hammer in this flank. I think having that Talmaster alive is worth five command points. All right, so he's going to interrupt. And he is going to interrupt, away. and well, you know what? Let's actually, we're spending two command points, and two if points. I kill three Incubi here, I'm not going to run away. Okay. <laughs> right? Uh, we'll swing on the Incubi. This is a bigger deal than killing him. Yep. Oh, if I kill the two racks, I could fall back here and just snag an objective. That's true, too. Oh, so many choices. Mm -hmm. We're going to go for the Incubi because that's more important to die. Uh, two, two hits. hits. Mm-hmm. And two AP uh, invuls. Two, two invuls. We'll bascar <laughs> that right out. Okay. All right. Would have been cool. We're spending uh -huh. three command points. He is out of here. Oh, he's 19 going. inches. 19 without advancing? Well, because he is in Devastator Doctrine right now, he's going 19 inches. Why is he in Dev Doctrine? Because Azriel told him to be in that Dev Doctrine. It's last for, for the battle, battle round. round. Yep. Oh. So I've got options here. If I hop right here, I give this Terminator Squad offset, get myself a five on primary. Mm -hmm. And I. No, Nick won't hold this anyway. This is going to be contested, so that, that doesn't change. Mm -hmm. um, if I jump this way, I take a zero on primary, which sucks. But then in my turn, I jump over here, kill this one guy, take Nick's banner away, and get an objective that Nick is not in any position to come mess with, and that's just mine for the rest of the game. That's probably true. And uh, that's five points right now, and he's in a decent spot to do damage. That is five points away from Nick, and... Stops his banner, so it's more than five points. Yeah, all that. All and that I is real. think that's also his priority target. It is. Ooh. Away we go. Nineteen <laughs> inches, you say? Mm. <laughs> I'm also now in a new quarter for his uh, purge the stupid people. So you're not hurting me so easily. I'm, I'm hurting you. Don't you worry. <laughs> you're not hurting me nearly as easily. This archon, he's, he's gonna, got he's gonna obliterate this talent master. <laughs> Put that's him in not the true at all. Four hits, black heart. Five hits. All right, five to win. Five to one. Uh, one AP a lot. AP four. AP three. It's a power sword, right? It's a black heart. Or it's a I'm dark elder blade arses. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, I failed anyway, so I've got five okay. ones left. <laughs> and then the slits and our goals. All right, who are fighting last? So we're gonna swing with them first. Uh, you're fighting last too. So fight That's a good archon. point. You make you make great arguments there. <laughs> Darn it. All right. Silly archon. So slits. Three rolls. All right, wounded on fives. Wounded I on fives. need to be alive here. Really rather you're not. One AP One two. two. I got that. In the oh, bang. I got that. <clears throat> All the Urgles. The Urgles. Oh, and I think I'll use that command point to make him fall back and shoot. That sounds like a good mm -hmm. use of my time. Three rolls. Oh, one more reroll. Okay. And then. Uh, not bad wounds from the Urgles. If you roll bad fives, we can turn this around. Seven wounds from the Urgles. Oh, seven wounds? Seven wounds from the Urgles. On 12 attacks? I rolled good fives. Darn it. Now I need to roll some bad fives and we'll be in great shape. That's bad fives. Oh He's my dead. god, how does the Urgles... How does, how does Two Urgles? Don't fail the saves? I don't want to hear this. Urgles, oh bring it down Talonmasters. That Talonmaster was going to obliterate that second no. miss. No, no, no. Oh my god. All right. Let's... I was almost there, folks, but that was not what John needed. Activate some Incubi and stay within three of the Succubus here. Ugh. Um... And uh, the racks can chill on the objective, and I think we are we are good to go. Devastation. There's a lot of That's devastation. A <laughs> that was a five command point lance feeder, but oh, darn it, man. the alternative was having zero lance. We zero. got the slits and ergols protecting the archon. Ugh. We got the slits and ergols protecting the succubus. We got the incubi protecting yep. the succubus. The racks on the objective. John's got not money models, but they're all a pain in the butt for John. Yeah. And poor Drazar. Yeah, Drazar. Drazar. Something is happening to Drazar. He's, I'm going to do unkind things to Drazar. Yeah, you think. I, I do. I do think that. All right, so that's going to be it for me. Thankfully, I believe I've kicked John. There's a... Oh, he's in I'm the in the corridor. That apothecary is intentional, my friend. Oh, so only two points for praying the herd, hurting he's the prey. He's only two points on hurting the prey. Uh, John will still get a zero on primary because he didn't primary. go all the way over there, though. Um, I am going to banners later and uh, what's priority the target? priority targets. I got priority for three. He's getting his last points on priority <laughs> targets. So he thinks. But no, Terminators. We're going to... No. He's going no. to turn backwards. <laughs> All right. Well... All right. We're gonna do what we can here, folks. This John is... goes up to one CP. <clears throat> See, uh, expender right there. One to one. One like to one. It. All right. So there's gonna be some charges. Uh -huh. You know what honestly might happen? I think Ezekiel might run through the wall and just smite and uh, cast two powers on the succubus and try to have the smite and the uh, do a mortal wound and fight last. Hit her. Yeah. And okay. if I can just kill the succubus there, I'm gonna feel a lot better about my ability to do everything else. There's a deny on the table now, right there. 
That's, oh, okay. I have a helm of spite in this You have a helm of spite? That's adorable. All right, well, we're, gonna, we're not going to let that stop me. Not going to let that stop me, I say. Not gonna, this is gonna try. Talon Master. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful boy. We are going to kill this Cabalite. No, no. <laughs> He's just going to step up here so that he can see the Cabalite. And that's probably an assault cannon job. Yep. And we're going to see if that heavy bolter can maybe get an angle. Yeah, I tried to cut it. Um, can I just move over an inch? Like that way? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just do that. Yeah, you just relax with him. So I'll do that, and I'll just make sure that my model is still over the objective because it is a cylinder. So right now it is going to put heavy bolters into the racks, assault cannon into that one. Jerk. Incredibly irksome. Oh, irksome is my middle name, Nick. Is it? Yes, it's on my driver's license. Okay. All right, obviously. John Irksome Lennon. John Irksome Lennon. <laughs> That's a thing. Um, what do the Terminators do? Nothing. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. You know that's not true. I think it's um, true. Well, well, we're definitely minus one damaging them forever, mm -hmm. by the way. For sure. Um, that apothecary is going to heal himself at the end of this because there's nothing else to heal. So it's I it's all dead. <clears throat> what? need it. <laughs> what is obsec that you have left? Five racks in here. Uh, two racks here, one more you're there, five oh, racks. only five racks, that's right. Yeah. God, the dreadnought. The dreadnought. <laughs> that is so. If I had a dreadnought, and no, oh, I would feel so much better oh, right I now. Know. My army's. Uh, if I had my last turn finished the way I wanted with Drazar making that charge, I'd feel much better too. We're both nervous right now. We've Ooh. both had some swings. I this is a tight play, game. But this is why I vected. I knew. I knew. Like, John <laughs> moving is the worst <laughs> thing he can do for me. John does like to move. Um, on moving when he's not supposed to is some scary stuff, so we're gonna make yeah, that cost three CP. All right, so I want as I think Azriel's gonna run in and charge the succubus, and that's gonna be my first charge. Okay. Because she interrupts. Yep. Although if I make her fight last, then Nick doesn't have enough command points to interrupt. She's always strikes first. So yeah, if cancel. I make it'll cancel, but then you don't interrupt for free. Mm -hmm. So you have to spend two command points, yep. and then you don't. Yep. Um Drazar is in cover right now. Drazar's in cover. So he's a two-up armor. He's a one-up armor. Yeah, so yeah. two-up armor goes to one-up armor. Even if I put these Terminators into Tactical Doctrine, that does not change anything. No. Incredible. <laughs> okay. um, so I don't, I mean, I, I will put them in Tactical Doctrine because it's the only unit that putting in Tactical Doctrine might matter in case I decide to shoot a boat. Okay. Um, but I think what's actually more realistic now is Azrael goes on after the succubus and he needs to be a brave boy and he needs to get things done. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, we're gonna step the Terminators here. I think the Terminator's gonna charge there to kill, and we're gonna try to shoot the boat and these witches away. Yep. Um, and then Ezekiel is going to uh, move up here. Okay. Get some smite action on Drazar. Smite action on Drazar, I think. Yeah. Just because if I advance there, even if he denies one spell, it doesn't change anything, so I need Azrael to just go. Mm -hmm. uh, Azrael will chapter master the Terminator squad. Yep. So why not? Um, and. We will, um, what does this guy want to do with his life? Nothing. That's not true. <laughs> that's not true, Nick. You know that's not true. I think it's true. I, I, you know that's not true. So only three inches of movement here. We <coughs> need, to, need to kill some stuff. All right. Well, Terminators are lumbering closer to Drazar. Lumbering. lumbering I'll, save, I'll save my command point for that charge, I think. Mm -hmm. that, that feels wise. <laughs> All righty. Um, this is an interesting one, Nick. This is getting, we're playing a dangerous game here today. Dangerous game. You have two incubi and two racks on this objective? Yes, sir. I think he's going to go two up over two down. So he's going to go, that's eight inches. Okay. And then six inches, he'll go right there. Sure. And I just want to set up charges into more people if I need to charge more people. Yep. That sounds good to me. All right, Azriel. Mm -hmm. You know what? Honestly, I could make Azriel minus one damage. Ooh. It's not a yeah. No, he's not core. He's not core. Aha. No, we can't Ooh. do that. It's close. You could chapter master him, but we're gonna just um, just walk to the edge. Of that we're wall. gonna just walk to the edge of that wall. We're gonna shoot slits and urgles, and then we're gonna charge that succubus, and that is gonna. A little further back. I don't think it matters. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still yeah. shooting there. Yes. Um, and then that is uh, enough for me. The do, I would love to kill this boat, but if I kill the boat, the racks get out, so oh, it's I would realistic. Love to kill the boat. You don't have to shoot a have gun. He does. He has a grenade launcher. Whatever that means. Launches grenades. Oh, launches grenades. Basically, if there's a one rack left after the heavy bolt, I'm going to try. 
Um, this Terminator Command Squad is just stepping inside the wall here so that I've got more models than Nick on it. Uh, I could potentially charge Drazar, but more likely is I charge and one of them swings on this so I don't kill it, but just so that I get it in combat and the racks have to get out, which they mm -hmm. probably will anyway, but um, you gotta try. The Blade Guard Ancient is stepping through here as well. And um, I think that is the uh, complete and full extent of the resources I have on the board. So we're gonna have a psychic phase. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel is gonna smite. He's gonna smite. He's gonna smite. And that will pass on a six. All right, where is he at? He's right there. What's, what's the other spell? Fight last he, or take away? Fight last and take a mortal wound, or take away obsec, or take mm -hmm. away ores. I mean, I think fight last doesn't matter because I can't interrupt. So yeah. might as well try to block this one. Mm hmm. I do block it, and you suffer a perils. All right, take D3 mortals. What a guy. Three mortals to Ezekiel. Helm of Spite. No kidding. All right, and then you'll cast the fight last. Mm -hmm. And that'll pass with the fight last. Okay. So we're going to do a mortal wound to those Incubi, and they will fight last. Incubi, fight last, and take a mortal. Oof. I will put it on the sergeant here. The dummy cleaves. Ooh. Onto the sergeant, you say? I do. Onto the sergeant. Interesting choices. All right, well, what we're going to do next is we are going to shoot. Mm -hmm. A lot. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, that Talon Master is putting a whole assault cannon into that warrior and a heavy bolter into these racks. Yep. yep. So this is a heavy bolter into the racks, hitting on twos. He doesn't care about modifiers. Ugh, he he really cares doesn't about care ones. about ones. Don't, don't say those words. Three. Three and bolts. It's turn four. Give me those fives. Oh, Ooh, no. Two damage each. Three roll successful. So that no. is it. That's you want me to roll an assault cannon into that warrior? No. Okay. I think we're okay. All right. Good. He's gonna... All right. We are removing Nick's obsec. Mm -hmm. This Terminator squad. This is what? Incubi and something else? Incubi and an Archon. Not obsec. Not obsec. Do, do, How do. many uh, Stormbolters do I need to put in this witch squad? Just to make sure. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. I think it's going to be a. I think we'll put the um, Dakadakas, the auto cannons here. Mm -hmm. Who's Chapter Master right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Figured it might as well. Yep. Um, and then we will put every. We'll put six storm bolters into the witches. Okay. That sounds. Twenty-four yeah. storm bolter shots. They're in a forest. I'm hitting on fours, but I'm rerolling many things. Mm -hmm. And we'll put the grenade launcher into the witches as well. Yep. So it's two storm bolters and two um, uh, auto cannons into the boat. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, let's get some witches. No more rerolls because my only Talon Master is far, far away. He's trying. He's trying. He's, he's doing his best. He's living his best life. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was. Okay. Oh, these were the rerolls. Really I was like, good. I thought that was my wound roll, and I'm like, what is going on here? That was not enough dice. Well. Yep, we're good. It's one more. Please. There we go. That's enough. Probably. That is five up invuls now on these witches? Five up invuls on these witches. Oh boy. Oh, that's another drop dice for Nanavati. And that's the end of the witches. That's the end of the witches? Okay. Oh my goodness. You're saying there's a chance, folks. Beautiful ladies. Good work. These are the Reaper auto cannons into that boat. Boats, boats, boats. No boats. Only three hits, but we are re-rolling them. That's what I like to see. Six, Six hits, hits wounded on threes. That is four invuls on the boat. Easy. Not easy. Boat down. Stormbolters are wasted, but that is okay with let's, me. Let's take a second here and think about an emergency. An emergency disembark. So if I emergency over here, the Archon is about 17 and a half from the Talon Master, mm -hmm. which means I move seven, so I'm 10 on three dice to try to charge him. Um, nothing else can really shoot here, right? This is all pretty much done. Yeah, so there's a great I think launcher. it's worth that attempt. To That's a, that is Nick's last command point for now. For now, six. Uh, so get them out first because sure, sure. it does matter. Sure, sure, sure. It does matter. So just to clarify, what still has to shoot? This grenade launcher. Yep. Azrael's combi plasma. Okay, uh, I can I can survive that. No, you can't. So Archon's <laughs> going there. No, you, you cannot survive, Nick. Incubi. Now, if they go more direct, is this any closer? This is a uh, 15 and a half way, so it's pretty much the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's really the exact same thing. Uh, exact same thing, you say. If I go over here, ooh, then that's more threatening that way. Lots of options. I think I go over here, though, and I, uh, I 
Go in the forest. All right, need some emergency disembark. This is going to be everything. This is 15 and a half inches, yep. So might get you, might not get you, but we will see. Okay. We'll be on the objective in case the Terminators decide not to uh, make their charge. There's one command point, or if they, uh, this will make them have to charge backwards a little bit. Yep. And uh, let's roll. All not right. Not many twos. Let's no see ones, how no many twos. ones and threes. Three ups. Two so, inky buy down. Okay. I, will, I will suffer not. Uh, we'll be within three of the Archon, of course. Okay. okay. All right, just enough that I can't shoot the Archon, so <laughs> we'll go ahead. And that Raider is down. That's another thin the rank for me. Yep. Like that. Very good secondaries here. And then, um, um, Azrael will put his combi plasma both halves there. Mm -hmm. Uh, both there. Yep. Hits. Wounds. Um. Plasma. Yep. Hits. Wounds. Give me a five. Got the five. Oh, it's turn four. Beautiful. Oh, these Incubi making saves. They weren't supposed to do that. Oh, no, they were. <clears throat> no, they won't. They weren't supposed to do that. All right, well, um, things that we've got now is charges. Okay. Asriel into the succubus. Asriel into the succubus. She's, he needs like a five, maybe a six, probably five. Double ones will not do it, though. Oh, can you do the Drazar? Can you do the dangerous Drazar? Oh, what you thinking here, John? If he uses the CP here, those Terminators could just fail. There's no Overwatch coming next turn. This is a moment. It is a moment. Oh. Ah, why not, right? Oh. Asriel into the ten. So he does hit. It doesn't full Drazar me, but we'll see if the Terminators pull a Drazar in the forest. Oh, into boy. Drazar. It's an 11. 11. They're flying through this forest. Right, can I see oh. tape measure? Yes. Flying through the forest. As as they are, they're uh, beautiful creatures. At least he's out of command points. John's so much scarier with command points. Oh, there'll be command points soon. I no. can't actually get them back, so it'll be later. But. <laughs> And we're gonna put put one model there on the objective bottom floor. And they are obsec. They are obsec. Okay, so that's gonna be enough. Two there bottom floor. This puts me five models on the objective. No longer feel bad if I charge and kill this. Mm -hmm. um, and with the consolidates, could potentially be more. So he's going there. He's going there. Uh, he'll be within half an inch of both of these two, so that they can fight. One guy is on this objective, so that I'm obsec on it. Give me a nine inch charge over here. Just roll on elevens. What is this mark? What? This was a three-inch charge. Yeah, but you didn't have to move as much as you're doing. <laughs> There's a lot of moving going on. There's a lot of moving going on. Okay. All right. So with pylons, I think we're going to end up having... Let's see here. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get the sergeant involved, too. We'll have seven Terminators, including the sergeant, swinging on Drazar. And then um, this command squad is going to charge into the ra the, the rack raider. Mm-hmm. I can't Overwatch here. Probably wouldn't, but uh, it's a ten, not are. too shabby. Mm -hmm. And then this will be um, the uh, blade guard angel will charge in as well. Yep. Six, Six will do. It's not going right bad. on that side there. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel didn't advance, so he'll charge the raider. Yep. I don't think he's no Ezekiel did not advance. Enough. Wow, beautiful. Go Ezekiel, go. He's going Let's places. Get more models over here. Mm -hmm. This um, <laughs> is very lonely. He's, he's, he's fine. He's <laughs> very lonely. He's going to charge the succubus and the incubi. Oh, he's getting hectic over here. Why not? Five is probably not it. Five, it might. Five is, but well, it's no, not enough to base is Yeah, really so we'll, we'll say no. We'll say no. That's fine with me. Uh huh. All right. All right. So uh, nowhere to make you fight last. Let's just see if Azriel gets it done against the succubus. Piling in. Mm hmm. Making the incubi the closest model besides the succubus. Yep. So that if I kill, I can consolidate, but I'm still not within an inch because I want to consolidate yeah. onto the. And there's two on the objective anyway. Yeah, uh, that's why I needed the. Uh, mm hmm. Uh, this guy to make it. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can get. So I guess that actually doesn't matter. So we'll just stick right here. Okay. Um. So. Asriel, it's time. Cut the succubus down. Yep. You know what? I'm going to double check Asriel's stats because I'm only 90% sure. And I I'm feel just going to roll fours and survive. That's uh, I already feel bad that I messed up the, uh, the Ravenwing core stuff. So I'm going to just double check this one because I'm not 100%. Pretty sure Asriel ends up at six attacks with shock assault. 
strength six and sixes on mortals. That's all accurate. So what? here we go. Twos to hit. Oh, okay. glad you've been lightning fast. Okay. Twos to wound. Two oh my ones, God. no mortals. It's flat no two mortals. mortals. It's flat two. Oh, I just four need a four. Ones. We got a four. We survived. Oh, that is the we worst survived. possible thing. Oh, this is a great day. This is a great, great oh. day. Wow. All right. What else we got for me, Mr. John? Draw I'll consolidate. Fight? Let's see if we make your fight last. Let's make your fight her. last. That's not making your fight last. That's All right, okay. I'll base this up. She's this. based. <laughs> All right, uh, Succubus can swing. Oh, she yeah. fights first. Yes, she does. Five, six, seven, <laughs> fourteen attacks had later. Had a bad day. <laughs> Taking the town. Sing a sad song just to turn it around. Yeah, oh uh, God. Fours. Oh, why is she still there? Oh, oh I rolled be... really bad. Good well, thing that's okay. Um, so invulns don't care. Long hair don't. All right, takes two. Ones. So it takes two. Let's try it oh, again. Oh, that was a one. That sucked. All right. So five, ten, eleven, twenty-two more attacks. Five, <laughs> ten, eleven. <laughs> no. no. Two. She's doing the clean forty on me right now. This is not what you like to see. And. Uh, Oh man, my 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 kingdom for uh, another oh, command that's point. Much better. Uh, All right, it's not great. Two invuls and a lot yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fight on death. I know. Yeah, yeah. All right, good on those invuls. These are three ups. You no! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god! As we all get off my no. table. No! <laughs> it was so close. Oh, we will consolidate six inches. No! Oh, this is so close. Oh, this I love you. Oh my god, I was so close. <laughs> All right. Oh, what a great day. Thunder hammers into this boat. Sure. Blowing this thing up. We're probably not, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Where's the hit? Yep. No reals. This is great. Right. Threes. Uh, two invulns. Fives. One. Three damage. Seven left. Yep. yep. Uh, Zeke. Uh, weak. And mm -hmm. fives. Oh, just one invulns. One invulns. Nope. Three. He's just four sword. One. Six left. All right. Uh, Blade Guard Ancient. Mm-hmm. It's not. He's damage one. This one not playing out much here. Five hits. Oh, Five yeah. Six hits. left. So close. All right. It's okay. No one All right. Um, the Blade Guard Ancient will base the boat. Okay. Um, seven Terminators with the Chapter Master buff, because they remember they can still hear Azrael in the distance. Can they? Oh. It's like he was just here. Uh -huh. uh, there are seven Terminators into Drazar. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, one's the sergeant. Mm -hmm. Full rerolls to hit, full rerolls to wound. There you go. Stupid succubus. <laughs> God, I was so close. So close. Can't so close so to greatness. Um, <sighs> do, 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 do. That was one that missed. A lot of dice here. Hoping this is the end of Drazar. <laughs> All right, lots of hits. Drazar's gonna be fine. He will he's, not. He's the champion of Drukari. I will. I will wrap Drazar in combat. <laughs> you go right ahead. Okay. Uh huh. So it's that many invulns, but also these are rerolling. Get Drazar off my table. No. Drazar has got six no. wounds. And <laughs> that is 20. 25 invulns on Drazar. Uh, if he, he lives, I will actually shake your hand right now. He reduces damage. He that okay. reduced that to <laughs> dead. Drazar out of here. Oh, Draz. Drazar is out of here. That's what I like to see. That's okay. We'll consolidate. Okay. Put a third model on the objective. That's enough for now. So I think that'll be... Oh, my raider gets to attack back. It's still full health. It'll punch Ezekiel. Yeah, okay. One for your roll. One hit. Nope. Big dice, big numbers. It's a wound, AP1. Oh, it does a wound. take a wound. I'm kidding. Yeah. Poor Ezekiel. Poor Ezekiel. Poor Ezekiel. All right, so you've got... Uh, how many models in that objective? Uh, six. six. Okay. And OPSEC. Yeah, it's yours. Uh, it was not the question. Um, nope. So I don't owe you morales. I'm healthy. Oh, uh, um, the Incubi couldn't fail? No, they cannot. All right, so you're going to score domination, priority targets. And I've gotten a lot of thin the ranks. Thin the ranks. Uh, you know, 12 yeah. on domination, 12 on uh, Ten, priority targets. Like, it could be worse. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing good secondaries right now. Yep, the secondary game is going well. These primaries are a little bit harsh. Oh, Nick has a command point. I got a point. command point. No. All right, let's, no. see, let's see what these advances are. we got to clear out this thing. Uh, I'm going to get a 10 on primary again for holding these two. Yep. Um, so the Archon here. There's one. Oh, I'm only going to get one banner, unfortunately. All right, we're tanking his banners. 
But 11 inches, so I was just over 17 was the math. Yeah. So now I'm moving 11, six. now I'm just over six, I have to roll six. Okay. okay. Six with a CP, we can do it. All right, and the Tile Master can live. Let's roll the Incubi here. Oh, beautiful. So, so they're gonna go forest. 11, and now it was the oh. same math, it was just over 15, now it's just over a four. Oh, that's... Oh that's, man. That's what we like to see. That's not good. Would have loved to knock out one or two more Incubi there. Alas, Nick made his saves. You can never trust this man. I think the... Uh, this has to die. Um, it's just it's just an apothic. He doesn't have to... What? No, I can't shoot these people, right? Nope, you cannot shoot any of them. Very irksome. Uh, uh, that is my middle name? It, right? It, it, we've, <laughs> this has been covered and discussed. I could <clears throat> probably... No, I don't think so. Um, could what? I'm just thinking of keeping you to a zero on primary, but I don't think it's happening. I'll take... I guess I'll take my five. <laughs> Appreciate uh, your generosity. Now, just to, just to make sure, your only obsec unit on the board is these five racks, Those five right? Those five racks, yep. Okay. So... I think we're gonna get the five racks out. Okay. And, well, let's, let's hold off on that. Let's move the succubus. There's no interrupts coming from John. That's that's wonderful. There's no Overwatch coming from John. That's also wonderful. Oh, eight, ten inches. Ten inches. I do get five for holding that. So I'm at a nice 13, 14 on priority targets. 14, 14 on priority targets. No problemo. Ten inches. I could go into Terminators. Yeah, that's just, true. Uh, Hit them pretty hard. Consolidate out of combat. Hard, yeah. Use this. How do you fall back and shoot? Is that one CP or what is that? Two. Two. Two you say? That's a great number for it to be. All right, let's Don't do. have a strong counter to that. No. <laughs> All right. Let's move these slits and ergles. They're gonna move nine. Nine. Well, I'm just gonna kill the slits and ergles. That, that's gonna be fine. I mean, they could just die. They, I, they're I dead. Do this carefully. It's they're good thing, dead. Good thing you're all strung out. And most of your squad's <clears throat> not attacking. I'll pile in. Will you? I'm not minus two inches. So it's a whole three inch it's pile in. It's a whole in. three inches. Good whole thing three inches. These these racks here might have something to say about it. They would um, never. They would never. Those racks wouldn't dare say something about that. They'll say some things. They would not. I can't shoot these characters, which is really obnoxious, honestly. Um, <laughs> Yes. Maybe I hold on to these racks. No, I think keeping John to a low primary right now is the best use I have for them. Mm -hmm. You have six models on the objective. Hey, John, while you're free for a minute, chat's saying that Azrael is Deathwing and gets reroll wounds against characters. If you could look at that. Oh, my God, he is, and he's an Assault Doctrine. Chat. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This is going to change quite a lot. You I you think two failed I wound think rolls. this is, I'm going to roll it for my own satisfaction. But it might be too late. Oh, only one. Here's the save. Game not, not the matter. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I don't have to be no. generous and give it to Nick anyway because it's a little like bit it too was, late. Now I don't feel but like it was easy. a bad interaction. Yep. I'm happy. There we go. So, so that is true. I, I would have rerolled the wounds against characters because Azrael's definitely. We're gonna fall back and not be in heroic range. Oh boy. <laughs> don't know. If that's maybe it might be. I mean, the, the blade guard ancient garbage and common enemies. That's not really a problem. Yeah. Okay. I don't care about him then. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, the Terminators don't heroic. Right? Terminators don't heroic, so you just have a dude on the... On so the we'll team. just do that. Okay. Um, and the Rax will get out, and they'll probably flame Terminators and charge Ezekiel, who has Mr. One Wound left. How dare you. Um, he will kill them. And on, on the objective. Yeah. Over here, you do need to die. Uh, so that is a job for Incubi, I believe. He's fine. He's, he's not, though. Yep. Um, and we'll raise a banner over here with the Archon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I think that'll suffice. Now I have some slits and ergles over there holding that objective, and I think that's all they have to mm -hmm. do with their lives. Oh, Though this if is that the apothecary had made the charge, it would have been so great. This is the mission where I'm allowed <clears throat> to leave objectives and hold them forever. It right? is not. You're positive about that? 100 percent Okay. I always get that wrong. So <laughs> they'll just exist over here. Slith and Ergle party. Screw those guys. I don't even like them. Screw them. Um yeah, that's fine. All right. Okay, so let's do some shooting. There's very little to do, but the two rack squads, the two, the two liquefiers will shoot into the Terminators. Very well. Uh, seven shots. Seven shots? That's not enough. You will not stop me. And you're minus one, you're not minus one. You are I, minus one. I certainly am. Yep. Okay. Um, well, two saves. Two saves. All right. Um, I think if I pull that guy, I'm still in coherency, so we'll put it on him. He's touching cover. Three ups. 
Long hair, don't care. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> he's raising a banner. They all advanced. I can shoot shard carbines. Let's shoot shard you carbines. Can shoot shard carbines. I'll give you that one. Four, one free reroll is four hits. Four hits. And three wounds. Three wounds. On to the Terminators. Let me get that triple one. No. <laughs> All right. We'll do some charging. We'll start with the important stuff. We will start with the four for the Incubi into the Talon Master. Mm. No. It's a four. No. <laughs> it's a four. No. Check the Nick measurements. I don't trust there. the Nick. We measured it like a million times. I just don't did trust it. Math. I just want it to be a three. We just, just did roll math. a three. It looks uh, like a three. It's not, though. Let's Dang do it. the Archon. Big dice, big numbers for the Archon. Big dice, big numbers right. for the Archon. Yep. So, he, he tried really hard. Yeah, that was almost cool. That was really close to call. Um, over here, Incubi into Friend Man. Incubi into Friend Man. He's fine. He's probably not, though. But he might be. Yeah, that would it's suck if he is. It's yeah. a bike. It's so um, then like over climax. here, we'll charge just Ezekiel. Six. Doink, 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 doink. Outside of three of him. Yep. Um, Ezekiel is absolutely not dying to this, just so everyone's fine. We will charge the succubus in here. Seven is good. Doink. Um, and we'll charge the slith and Urgul we'll party in. Ten. And Wasn't expecting it to fail, but I wouldn't have felt bad if it had. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. yoink. That slith, is the, the traditional slith. sound of the slith. Slith. Everyone knows that. Yoink a doink a doink. Yoink a doink a doink. One Urgul will base you. Actually, one Slith will base you. One Slith will base Get out. Urgul. This Slith will not base me. And we'll leave space for the <clears throat> Succubus to consolidate after she's done. Alrighty. So there's no interrupts coming. Let's see what the fight lasts are here. Not yes. So. Right. Maybe. I don't care. You're still swinging first. Right. So I'm uh, going to check. Sure. We'll do the Incubi. All right. Uh, we'll swing no everyone's interrupts. normal profiles and the big profile. Um, the oh. Hold on, this does matter because I made them fight last with Ezekiel last turn. Yep, so I rolled a nine. So now I actually need to look at my leadership. <laughs> okay. Where is that? Uh, it's right there. It's right here. Ravenwing Apothecary, I'm feeling a nine. He's okay. like a veteran. No, he's not a nine. He's probably an eight. I think I'm feeling nine. Mm -hmm. Feeling nine. No, no, no. Eight. Eight. Ah, well, we'll start there. Tormentor masks. Why? Here's the three regular dudes. Yeah. Technically, they still have to go last, but nothing's changing, so I don't. Archon care. for rerolls. Sure. All right. Strength uh, five. Yep. You did the strength five for everyone. Yep. Uh, so he's just gonna take nine female pains here and two six ups. Nine female pains, you say? Nine. Well, let's take the six ups. Okay. Uh, so it's only eleven. Eleven plus reasons. the sergeant hasn't gone yet. So it was three guys. That was three guys. What is going on here? Eight. Nine, 11 feel no pains? Yep. Con! No. That's, that's, that's is the three of feel no pain, I think? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll Ouch. I know he doesn't explode. Um, oh, boy. We will do the succubus into the Terminators. Don't mind if you don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> why, why does she vex me so? That's, that's her job. She is vexing. Oh. Wars to wounds. I'll, I'll happily concede that she is vexing. Um, she has not been on full power at all this game. So four AP ones and one AP. If you two. expect sympathy that your succubus is only killing Azriel and everything else that she's touched, I don't care. She's not going to kill. That was the, the AP That's two. The AP so two. That one failed, and those will pass. Okay. So one feel no pain. No feel no pain. No feel no pain. But it's minus one damage, so just mm -hmm. a wound to lead, dude. So you failed one save. So which means twenty six marks. marks. Yep. <laughs> Six, twelve. <laughs> Why is this happening? 18. Why is this happening? To 26 more attacks. Why wouldn't it be? Who's? Give me some ones. Oh, God. Some six. There's a one. Get that one out of there. There's a one. I pulled the different. Oh, okay. Guy. Sure. Okay. All right. Um, fours. All right. No problem. Oh, beautiful. Why? Beautiful. All right. We got five big ones. Oh, my God. Why? A pile of small ones. Five big ones. At least they're minus one damage. Yeah, that's saving your booty here. All right, so it's killing one, wounding the next. Four wounds so far. Let me get another Termi here. Ooh, got another Termi so there. Two dead Terminators is the end result of the succubus. So it will kill her, kill this Terminator, and then I will pull this one as well. Okay, and then she's going to consolidate right on out of there. But I want it to. Okay, that's fine. You can you can want things want too. To. Um, the Rax, I'm not messing around with uh, not... Taking I know, your objective here, so we're gonna reroll wounds with our racks. I here. really wish I had stratagems Two, here, but three, I'm out. Four, activist. And then we'll consolidate on the objective, of course. But first, twos to hit, all hits. Fours to wound, and rerolling for our one CP. 
Wait, why do you reroll? I uh, use the rack strat. Reroll wounds for one CP. Isn't that within six of homunculus? It might be. I don't think so. Um, I might be thinking of a different one. There's a lot of strats. I'll just let Nick uh, double check that one. Sure. Rack strat. Rack strat. Rack strat. Rack strat. Ezekiel's totally going to live and everything will be fine. Those are the words of the emperor. No, it's just if I'm selected to fight. Well, that's pretty good. All right, so uh, you have three AP2s and a lot of armor saves. Ooh, my permanent transhuman did not help against that. How would they all load? I all right. the one. I failed to. These days. Days. Get off Zinkel. my table. No. He doesn't. And with that, I will pile Consolidate into me if five there. models onto the objective, <laughs> six with the raider to your five Terminator people. That is true. Um, Slith and Urgle party. Slith and Urgle party. What do they got for me? Oh, we got that. I saved the best for last. Okay. Sliths and Urgles. Sliths and Urgles. Let's do that part. Two Sliths. Uh, one free reroll. And uh, uh, strength five. Doesn't really matter. So fours. Uh, three AP twos. All right. That'll uh, wound a guy. Let's get the Urgles. The Urgles are going to kill another one. It will not. Yes, they will. They'll do no such thing, sir. Oh, no. Urgles. Forced wound. Urgles. Aha. No Archon nearby. Three wounds from the Urgles. Three AP ones. Will oh, do so close. Yeah, because I failed two saves. Or no, I failed you one. Failed one. So then I'm down to one. Yeah. Um, who? There's no other attacks on them, but just in case mm -hmm. for later. Eh, if there's no other attacks left, I might as well put it on a guy on the end. Yeah. Okay. Uh, over there, let's do Mr. Archon because I want to show off him. Yep. yep, 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 yep. Seven attacks. Reroll all hits and wounds because he stole Drazar's Warlord trait. Let's see why that wouldn't be a thing. He's got the Jin Blade, the, the Jin? DJ Blade. We're gonna style on you. Reroll to wound, thank you. This is a good thing, because that was not a good wound roll, but uh, now. But yeah, now it uh, is. Uh, he's Talon just Master dead right gone. there. Yep. <laughs> Do Talon Masters explode? Not on a five, so he's out. My All last right. well, beautiful Talon Master. <laughs> you tried so hard. Oh. So far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. You know what does matter? These Terminators are going to pile into the racks and kill them. I tried to be outside of it. Did I three three inches? I mean, I didn't really consolidate like what? I do this, right? What the heck? Okay. Isn't three inches I, still going to... I was trying to, but if it's not possible, it's not possible. Without engaging him, I, I don't... So let's flip this ruin, just sure. so we can see what's going on. Because this guy has to go towards the raider. If he, he has to end slightly closer, yes. Yeah. But could he not go there? And now this guy is about two and change. Could he not just go right there to keep the coherency and just potentially, yeah? Yes. But then, the, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, eventually he's going to have to go towards the slip. You might be able to do this. Yeah, you might. Yeah. Why so, just do that? Um, is no one else is moving. I mean, let me just check who's closest here. That is seven and change. That is six and change. Seven. Seven and change. Let's say he doesn't move. Yeah, just say doesn't move. Say he doesn't move. So, All right. So just one more thing. So these two are in coherency with him. He's in coherency there, and all that is good. Yeah, one model can swing. One model under the racks. I mean, it's worth a shot. Sure. Right. I'm uh, hitting on twos, re-rolling everything. Why not? Mm -hmm. And everyone else will um, go into Slith and Urgle party. Let me actually see if I can get an extra guy into the Slith and Urgle party. Yeah. Um, you based me? Yeah, that okay. one Urgle's basing you. So he's going to pile in up to get within half an inch, and he's just going to sit, sit the middle. So one, two, three can swing. Yep, yeah, three can swing. Perfect. All righty. One dude into the racks. I would love to kill two of them. That would be bad. Then I will get my prior primaries. Oh. Two hits. That's four hits. Thank you very much. Four hits. You didn't move this turn. You didn't move this turn. Yeah. Just, Why would I move? I just watch models move. Uh, it took us four. That's four. That is four involves. Whatever. Fives and fives. I got this. Fives and fives. No. Three racks down. Primary no. points coming back John's home. the ten. That's really bad. Primary points are coming back. <sighs> and then um. The obsec racks. Mm, yes, the obsec racks. I say. All right. So then um we have three guys swinging on the slip and ergo party. Mm -hmm. One, two, and three. Stupid slips and ergos. Enough of their meddling. Chapter master is still up. Mm -hmm. For, this is the last time I get to use that today. <laughs> Claws. That didn't help. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> All right, if I can just pick up another model here. Is this a slith or an urgle? Fives. Uh, this will be slith. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, get that slith out of here. Fives. Ooh, slith yeah. down. And two wounds on an urgle. Two wounds on an urgle. But they're they, fearless. They are fearless, I know. I just, I just wanted Power them to from pain. God, this is the same unit that was over here. They've just been moving around. They, they started there. <laughs> yeah, I know. All righty. Um, 
Okay, so John is gonna get that stupid, ten stupid ten on primary. But that's that's all he's. Unfortunately, <laughs> Nick is getting a solid six. Six. On purge the oh, vermin. Si or per per heard the prey. Six. I mean, one table quarter right now is yes. the thing that you care about. Six hurting the praise and three priority right. targets. So on to my turn. You got your one command point back. Got my one command point back, and there's a single wounded terminator. Mm -hmm. So let's just uh, let's just check the stats here. What? You have the Terminators in combat and a Blade Guard Ancient, that's it? Yeah, they're Mirachic? Yeah, they uh, probably... On a Warp Fire? Warp Care. Well, I'll have one a rack, rack alive, left. But I'll one rack is less than two. I think I'm not nine, and there's no bonuses here, so I think you're right. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I'm just gonna just make sure. Yeah, one rack So left. another 10 on primary. I think I'm done on primary there, so does that put me at a 30 or a 35? I, I know there were some 10s and some 5s, and there was never a 15. There was a 0. It's probably yeah, like a I think 30. you're 25. 25? 25. The uh, 0 turn hurt. I mean, you get a 5 and a 0. So <clears> like, what and unfortunately, expect? Mr. Nick is sitting on 10, 10, 10. Which means I'm planning on there being a 15 at the end here, because I'm not getting on to 3 and then holding that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, minus 1 damage on them. Yep. Why not? Sure. I gotta do something. Um, it's not much for me to be doing here. Mm -hmm. I think... Oh, you have two Terminators that are a separate squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to wipe out these two things just to try to up my thin the ranks. Yeah. Nick's gonna get his 45 there. I'm not gonna get my Domination, but I will get my priority target. And then Nick's gonna get another big Herd of the Prey at the end. But we're gonna take a good old stab at it, just see how many points I can get out of it. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just gonna have them uh, stay there. I think the Terminators could fall back don't know if that matters at all. Well, if they fall back, they're not doing anything. Yeah, and if I stay in combat, I can kill a Slith and a Nurgle party. I know what I value most. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> you think you're going to kill the Slith and Nurgles with this? I do. Such ambition. All right, so we're going to charge the um, Banner Boy yep. into the one rack. Mm -hmm. You can't overwatch me. I'll overwatch you. You cannot. Oh, no, I'm going to throw a crack grenade at him first. Mm -hmm. Crack grenade time. Ba -da -da -dang. Oh, okay. Now we'll judge him. So he goes in. Is that the sound crack grenades? But it's when they bounce off. Oh, okay. so not when they connect. When they connect, it's more of a boom. But when they bounce off, it's a but it's Okay. This uh, <laughs> squad is going to multi charge the, the raider and the rack. Mm -hmm. And they'll definitely connect on both. I'll base the raider, even though I don't expect anything to happen here. This one dude is going to swing on that rack. Mm -hmm. Go get him, buddy. He is five attacks. Mm -hmm. He is really trying here. He's. Probably hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably one wound. One wound? Probably. One failed save. Oh, this is the rack. Yeah, it's just rack. Mm, the rack's good. Oh, the rack's good. All right. We're still going to put all of the Terminator attacks into that one boat. Oh, aggressive. Four, five, six, seven. Because it fails two saves instead. That's true. Three hits. All right. And threes. That's a reroll. Oh, he really wants his boat. I guess it's the last oh. base joint and find points. I uh, fail one oh, save and survives. All right. Well, at that point, uh, Nick can activate the Slith and Urgle party first, but oh, yes, is I anything can. changing the score here? Or am I I'm trying to swinging the Slits and Urgle. Swinging the Slits and Urgle. You cannot Man. take this from me. All right. All right. Urgle or Slith. Two hits. Free reroll. Three hits. Three hits. That's too many. One AP2. No. Ah, oh, it killed the wounded guy. Urgles, that was not part of the roll. Five hits. Yep. And uh, four AP1s. Four AP1s. Ridiculous, that'll Ooh, wound a guy. Urgles! One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm realistically going to have to pull someone. I don't know if that really matters. You just got doink a doink. You did doink a doink me. It's a, it's a sad state of affairs. Okay. All right, well, uh, we're just going to swing uh, three guys there because I don't think I can legally pile in and also end in coherency, so I'm not going to pile in. This is one, two, three Terminators into this Slith and Urgle party. Let's see what they can get done. Mm -hmm. No rerolls. My poor, my poor friends. Mm -hmm. Wounding on fours. Wounding on fours. Ugh. Six invulns. I just want to kill Lies. another Urgle. You won't. You I, will I, not. I kill another. No, an Urgle goes down. Uh, too many Urgles left. 16 points. All oh. right. Well, that is, uh, that's it for me. So I don't think anything really affects the scoreboard. I don't think so. I'm just going to fall back to deny use in the rank points. John, just to let you know, the Deathwing units reroll wound rolls for free versus models with wound characteristics of eight or more. That is true, but I have lightning. Oh, oh they do! You, uh, so you, would have you would have cost me a command point. point. Yeah, you would have kept your command point. I keep forgetting to do that. I could have used it on a hit. 
Well, that doesn't change anything. Do you here. see that? I just caught that. You missed the whole thing. Yeah. That's fine. You juggle the dice and you do this literally five times a day. Uh -huh. All right, well, that's it for me. So uh, John will do no domination this time. But yes, I, priority targets. Yep. Yes, priority targets. And your last one was? Thin the ranks, thin the ranks which I got a good score on, but I don't, it didn't change. I'll give you a final count. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get a count second. So for my turn, um, to I'm going to go on two points on banners. Mm -hmm. Then I will raise another banner, and that'll be three points on banners at the end of the game. So yep. for plus five. So you'll, you'll get your banners to a pretty decent score. It, yeah, it wasn't bad. Nine on banners. Not I was bad. between banners and scramblers. Uh, max yeah, the prey. Max the prey that's six. And then uh, priority targets, three more points there. And that's a max in primary, too. 15, 15 on primary, and I'm done. I'm, I'm topped yep. out. So uh, I could try to kill these Terminators, but I'll let John have models left. Uh, I was going to have yeah. some. 9470. Good game, Good game Mr. Nick. Good game. Oh, I hate Dark Elder so much. Oh, it's a beautiful day when we can just, just drive through the Dark Angels. Yep. All right, mm -hmm. so what did you think of, of your army and the, the thing? Um, I think I played this game right. I think I realistically needed a couple swings to go my way, and that's not because the swings were bad. Like, the, Dick had some swings go his way, I had some swings go my way. Dreiser failed the charge, one Rack of Fire squad blew up our Redemptor, our Contemptor. We both had swings, I just needed, frankly, I think I needed more to go my, my way than go next. Mm -hmm. I think dice were about average in this game. Mm -hmm. no, no complaints about dice. Uh, I, I liked my game plan going in. Uh, I thought it was giving me my best shot into it. I think I just needed a couple more of those punches to land. Again, if Asriel does knock off that uh, succubus, it changes things. If the uh, this guy makes his charge, then she there's, there's loses a lot of moments. Like she if, loses, Draz, yeah. if Drazor makes that charge, there's back. Oh, yeah, there were a lot of moments. Yeah. I needed some moments to go my way. I yeah. think to win this one, just because I feel like this is an uphill battle for the Dark Angels, which is impressive because I would put Dark Angels one of the three best armies in the game, but I would put Dark Dark Elder ahead of them. So they did. They gave a good shot there. Um, yeah, a lot of little swing moments. Uh, it was a very interesting game, though. I, I tried my best to keep yeah, Nick on his toes. I was, like, I was throwing as much as way as I could. Five command points on that hurt, but I was being very conservative early because I actually knew that was an option. Yeah, and I was waiting on it. I was. I, I actually vected that because I was like, "That's a strat that beats me." Like losing to that. Yeah, so moving. The, not I was to, shocked that you vected that. When you were like, oh, realistically, he's call. never doing it again. I'm like, oh, well. well not, not realistically, though. Realistically, <laughs> yeah, he's I was, I was waiting for the turn when he went into all the Tile Masters. I was like, if I save a bunch of command points, I'll save one of them. Mm -hmm. And then I just have an extra Tile Master that Nick hasn't accounted for, and maybe that's enough. Yeah. Um, what did you think about your army? I love my army. I have, I have actually a more refined version of this. I've played mm -hmm. Dark Elder quite a bit since I submitted list to this tournament. Yep. Um, so I, I think you could good. take this army, change 100 or 200 points, which we talk about in the horror all time, mm -hmm. and it, it goes from like power level nine to power level ten. So you think that's just, you think the start power level is. ten to power level eleven, whatever okay. you want to call it. <laughs> um, um, so I'm overall I'm very happy. The Slith and Urgle yeah. party are MVPs. Love this army. Yep. The only thing I think that I messed up on. Um, was on turn one I made that very I was kind of torn between going right or going left in a turn I probably would have sat there and thought about that for ten more minutes and just mm -hmm. eaten my clock away But uh, I think those are the kinds of decisions which really matter because yeah. that's that's like which way this game is gonna be played I think I chose wrong. I I did play I, I played a good game and obviously I still won so you know we can't be that hard on ourselves yep. but uh, I basically tried to try to fight John on my terms when really I could have just fought John on any terms and just ran him over yep. and if I was to do that with more stuff in my army than less stuff in my army it would have been more successful like here I kind of put myself out there got shot by his whole army lived and tabled him I could have just had more stuff doing that so. yeah you you kind of gave me two turns to shoot and one of them yeah. wasn't my whole army but you know, I, it was, it was I did damage some damage. No I did damage there. I did damage there. Right. And you just did the same thing a turn later. I was trying to get behind you. Like that was a really good staging point to come behind you, and then that'd mm -hmm. be a, a annoying thing for your priority target objective, which we kind of was. Uh, I just think it was a half-assed play, to be honest. Yep. But um, it was interesting. It was a good learning experience. I'm really happy with this army. Dark Eldar, Any mobile force with lots of options is always going to be almost overwhelming mm -hmm. to try to use on the table. So it's just a matter of getting the practice, thinking through these things, and really getting experience to know how to do what in what situations. Um, but yeah, I'll probably dissect some of this game further down in the war rooms. Forget if anyone's interested in checking that out. We teach classes in there all the time. Uh, really good stuff. Absolutely. Do we have any questions in the chat? Looks like we have a question from King Hef. He says, great game, guys. Is mm -hmm. Nick scared of any potential matchups? I was actually, I think, I'm very scared of my upcoming match with the Dark Elder going into Seeks' Admech. I think Admech are a very good counter to Dark Eldar, and this mm -hmm. is going to be... It could just mean not having models, and hopefully it's not that. Oh, I'm praying. Um, so next round, the semifinals, that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're doing a full weekend streams oh, for you guys. Um, 
I believe tomorrow it'll be John's Custodies mm. and Guard versus my sisters. I'm coming back for more. He's coming back. Double John down, John Lennon beat down. Okay. All uh, right. We'll see about that, Nick. We'll see about that. And then Saturday will be uh, this Trikari <clears throat> Army again versus Mr. C. Zadmek I was just talking about. Mm -hmm. And the winner of each, both of those <coughs> matchups will fight each other on Sunday in the finals at 1 p.m. Eastern time with the launch of our new merch line. So if you watch that game live or within the first 24 hours of it going live, you can get a special promo code, which only you'll have access to to get a discount on all of our new merch stuff. Ooh, excellent. Very excited. I'm so hats. excited to see that. We got the hoodies, we got the mugs. I'm yep. gonna have so many Art of War mugs. Share it around, tell your friends, tell your family, tell all of your Wargaming buddies, tell them to check out the rest of the games tell this weekend. Tell your dog. Tell your dog, have your dog watch with you. Uh, just let everyone know to come check out the rest of uh, this RTT. I'm really excited for the upcoming games. I've got my shot at Redemption tomorrow. My custodian's into Nick's Sisters of Battle. I am going to be prepared for that game. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to like it. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you later. Bye.